Welcome to Little Rock, Arkansas. It's the All Tell Arena. It's the ABA game of the week. You're watching the America One Sports Network. My name's Tommy Chrysan. Glad to have you tuned in. And tonight we got a great matchup for you, among many other things. A lot of big stuff going on at halftime tonight that we'll tell you about. Most importantly, we've got the ABA game of the week. It's the Utah Snow Bears and the Arkansas Rim Rockers. Arkansas is a team that has not lost in over two months. Utah is a team that lost two nights ago to this Arkansas team for the first time all year. Two of the best teams in ABA basketball. They're showcasing what this league has to offer right here in Little Rock, Arkansas at All Tell Arena tonight. It's the Utah Snow Bears and the Arkansas Rim, Rackers, Rim Rockers. Again, my name's Tommy Chrysam. It's my pleasure to be joined by local sports radio personality, Nathan Christian from 1037 The Buzz. Nathan, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great, and Little Rock is excited to have you guys back and excited to have the Rim Rockers playing the what were ranked the number one team in the ABA in the Utah Snowbirds. It's going to be a great night of basketball. You're right, the Snow Bears were number one in the most recent power ratings. Arkansas was three. Got a team from Mississippi in there at two. That's a very good team down in Greenville, Mississippi. Nathan, two nights ago, these two teams met, had over 5,000 people at All Tell Arena. It was a heck of a basketball team. Utah was in control most of the way, but Todd Day and the Arkansas Rim Rockers did the job, in particular on the fourth quarter, and sent the crowd home happy. You know, if the ABA wants a model of how things should be, it's right here in Little Rock, Arkansas. You said if they had over 5,000 fans out here for that game, they're going to have about 9,000 out here for tonight because they've got a great promotion and a great team. You know, they've made a big addition. The Big O since the last time we worked together. And when I say they, I mean the Rim Rockers. Oliver Miller, a former Razorback, played in the NBA. In fact, played in the NBA with in Minnesota last year. And he is a big reason why the Rim Rockers should have make it a great game tonight. Well, the Rim Rockers are coached by Joe Harge, and we'll speak to Joe in a little bit. He told me earlier today he was excited about getting Oliver Miller, but they've got a solid team. And Oliver Miller is just one more piece to the puzzle uh, for this Rim Rocker team. Coach Hodge was excited about the win the other night, but he knows that still leaves a lot of work to do tonight because Utah, you know, nobody's happy about losing their first game, especially after you've won 23 games, which, in fact, Utah had done. So they're going to come with their sneakers laced up tonight. Yeah, they're going to bring it. But as for the Rim Rockers, they, they seem very, very focused. They weren't celebrating after that basketball game. You said they sent the crowd home happy, but the Rim Rockers were not. They realized they've still got some work to do, and Utah's going to bring it tonight. they got great players. I will never forget watching Harold Arsenal. 1999, Weber State beat North Carolina. Uh, I absolutely loved it. Loved the underdog in the tournament. Harold Arsenault is on this Utah team. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Utah is coached by Ike Austin, an 11-year veteran of the NBA. Always wanted to be a coach. Now he's getting an opportunity in the ABA. You talked about a special promotion coming up tonight, and they've got Shawn Michaels from the WWE, the heartbreak kid, a three-time world champion, 20-year veteran of professional wrestling. He's in the building tonight. He'll join us at halftime, but that's certainly going to excite this Little Rock community and the Arkansas Rim Rocker fans. It's like I said, the promotions that this ball team does, this should be the model of how the ABA should be. They bring in NASCAR drivers, Mark Martin. They use the Arkansas Razorback players, and that brings out the crowd. And now they've got Shawn Michaels. So now going to the WWE, they do it right right here, right here at the Alltel. Well, Nathan, we'll continue on. We'll get everybody ready for the game that's coming up in a little bit. It is the ABA Game of the Week with Nathan Christian. My name is Tommy Chrysan. You're watching, you're going to be watching the Utah Snow Bears and the Arkansas Rim Rockers on the ABA Game of the Week. You're watching America One Sports. Welcome back to the ABA Game of the Week. The Utah Snow Bears and the Arkansas Rim Rockers. We're in Little Rock, Arkansas at All Tell Arena, and we got a whale of a ball game for you tonight. My name's Tommy Chrysan. It's my pleasure to be joined by a fellow Louisiana native, 
Byron Boudreaux, assistant coach with the Utah Snow Bears. Byron, how are you tonight? I'm doing real good, doing real good. First thing I want you to tell us about how you came to be involved with the franchise in Utah with the ABA. Uh, my initial introduction to Ike was this summer uh, when I was with the Dallas Mavericks. I did an internship and uh, we competed in the Rocky Mountain Review out in Salt Lake City. And uh, I had an opportunity to meet Ike through that experience. And then from there, I worked some of his free agent camps and then he offered me the position. Tell us about this Utah team. You guys won 23 straight games. You come in here the other night against a good Arkansas team, and, and you had things in control for about three quarters, and then you give a little credit to Arkansas for making it happen in the fourth quarter. They knocked you guys off. First loss of the season. Talk about the game that was played a couple of nights ago. Well, I thought it was a very competitive game. I thought the game was well officiated. Uh, there was a lot of basketball talent on the floor on both sides of the, of the court there. Um, I think what Arkansas did to ultimately get the win is they made the right plays down the stretch. And I think we're in a situation where uh, we didn't defensively do what we needed to do down the stretch to make it a little more difficult for them to pull that off. Who are some of the key players for the Snow Bears that the fans can be looking for to have a good game tonight? Well, our, our leading scorer uh, starts at the off guard position. His name is Clay Tucker. Uh, we have a kid named Harry Arsenal that played at Weber State. He's very explosive off the dribble. Uh, Nate Driggers is a, a ex NBA guy, uh, played with Todd in Boston, as a matter of fact, played with Todd Day over with the Boston Celtics. You know, I tell you what's the key to our team. We're well conditioned and we play well together as a group. We don't have superstars per se, but we do have some folks that put the ball in the basket a little more than others. But it's just all about team basketball. The matchup tonight against the Rim Rockers, you, you got to play them up close the other night, close game, lose by seven. What's the game plan tonight? What do the Snow Bears have to do to be successful tonight? Well, we have to score one more point than they do. <laughs> oh, that's a coach answer for you. <laughs> no, the bottom line is we just thought we turned the ball over way too much. You know, when you have a talented team like that, you can't give them that many opportunities. I think we had 23 turnovers for the game, and that's 23 shots that we did not get. And playing against an explosive team like that, you can't take away opportunities from yourself. Limit turnovers, rebound the basketball, and have a lot of fun, and we should be okay. Byron, it's always great to see another Louisiana native. Right. But good to see you again, and good luck in tonight's game. All right, thank you very much. That's Byron Boudreaux, assistant coach under Ike Austin with the Utah Snow Bears. When we come back, we got more for you. It's the ABA game of the week, the Utah Snow Bears and the Arkansas Rim Rockers from All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. You're watching America One Sports. Welcome back to All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas, the ABA game of the week. Once again, you're watching America One Sports. My name is Tommy Chrysan. I'm now joined by the head coach of the Arkansas Rim Rockers, Joe Harts. Joe, good to see you again. Well, Tommy, thanks for having us. I'm glad you guys can make it back out. Big game the other night, two nights ago, you knocked off Utah, handed them their first loss of the season. Tell us about that ball game, in particular, a strong fourth quarter for the Rim Rockers. Well, you know, Utah's a very, very good team, and, you know, uh, what I always say is you don't win 23 games by accident. Winning is a habit, and they've made a great habit of it. Uh, we were fortunate enough to rally back in the fourth quarter. They had us down, I think, by as, mu as many as 13. Uh, just uh, Ike does a great job. They're just a very good, very physical team. Uh, we had to play a little bit more in our pace. We had 39 points at the half and scored 36 points in the fourth quarter, uh, and that was a lot more our pace. You've had an addition to the ball club since we saw you a couple of weeks ago, a former Arkansas Razorback star, veteran of the NBA, Oliver Miller. Well, going into the playoffs, it becomes a big physical, it becomes a slower, more physical game. And we knew that Oliver was a guy that we wanted to bring in. It was just timing was everything. Uh, he, he got his release from Texas, and uh, we contacted him and uh, just excited to have him here. He was great for us in the last game, in his first game on Thursday. Let's talk about the game tonight. You saw Utah up close and personal the other night, a seven-point victory. What do you see in this team, and what do the Rim Rockers have to do tonight to be successful and hand these guys another loss? 
Well, one of the great things, one of the things that we're going to have to do is push the pace. Uh, we don't want it. We don't want to slow the game down. We want high numbers. We want to get up and down the court. Uh, we really want to pressure them as much as we can uh, and, and try to get them out of their rhythm because once they get in a rhythm, boy, they're tough to beat. Big crowd expected tonight. I know y'all had a super crowd a couple of nights ago, and, and this community in Little Rock continues to be a model for the ABA and show its support to these professional basketball players. Well, that's a testament to my owner, Larry Crane, and my president and GM, uh, Otis Birdsong. They get them out here. We just put the baskets in. Little Rock has been phenomenal in, uh, in embracing us. We expect about 10,000 people here tonight. Uh, 10,000 screaming our cans and ought to, be, uh, ought to be hopefully an intimidating crowd. Joe, we appreciate it. Good luck in tonight's game. Thanks for having us. Thank you. That's Joe Harge, the head coach of the Arkansas Rim Rockers. They beat Utah two nights ago, but as we know, tonight is another night. Same opponents, but it should be a very different game, and we're looking forward to it. This is the ABA Game in a Week. I'm Tommy Chrysan. You're watching America One Sports. Welcome back to the ABA Game of the Week. We're at the Alltel Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. My name is Tommy Chrysan. It's my pleasure to be joined by one of the leaders of the Rim Rocker team, Todd Day. Todd, how you doing tonight? All right, good. Big game two nights ago against Utah. You had a strong second half. The team had a strong second half. And you handed their, those guys their first loss of the season. Talk about that victory over Utah a couple of nights ago. Well, we know they're going to come out hungry after being undefeated and taking their first loss. So. You know, we just had to hold them down the first quarter until, you know, we get our game and let the crowd get into it. What was the big difference in the second half the other night as you guys scored as many points in the fourth quarter as you did in the whole first half? Well, I just think we uh, picked up our defensive pressure and also the crowd got into it. You know, it's an exciting crowd here, and whenever they get behind us, you know, we seem to get that edge. You've been a veteran of professional basketball. You beat somebody two nights ago. you got to come out and do it again. The old cliche, it's hard to do. They're going to be hungry, as you said. But what do you, as a leader of this team, help bring to the table to these guys as they approach this game mentally? Well, I just try to keep them positive, keep them focused. You know, we feel like we had a better team. We feel like we're at home. So if we come out and play our game, we shouldn't have a problem. Todd, we appreciate it. Thank you. That's Todd Day of the Arkansas Rim Rockers, and now we're going to be joined by Harold Arsenault of the Utah Snow Bears. Harold Arsenault, 1999, the big game against North Carolina in the NCAA tournament, and we are pleased to say hello to Harold. Harold, how you doing? How you doing? Tell us how you became involved with the ABA. Um, I know Ike um, for some while, and he asked me to come out and play for him this season, and I decided to play. Talk about the fact that it's an opportunity for guys to continue chasing a dream, play the game they love of basketball. You never know who's watching you, scouts, NBA, uh, other leagues, whatever. It's an opportunity that the ABA is providing to these players, and, and in your case on the Utah Snowbirds, that's got to feel good. I mean, it's got to be It's just a good thing. ABA is a good thing. they got really good players in this league. And, you know, when the opportunity presents itself, I think the players that they call up from this league would do good. You guys lost to this team a couple of nights ago here at the Alltel Arena. I know that makes you a little bit hungry. You want to come out tonight and pay them back. What do you guys have to do to be successful in tonight's game? Um, you know, we just approach the game the same way we approach every game. We don't really care about what the other team do. We just focus on the things that we need to do to win the game. Howard Arsenal, we appreciate it. Thank you. That's Harold Arsenault of the Utah Snow Bears. So we've got you all set. We're going to have a big crowd. We're at Alltel Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. Two of the best teams in the ABA. Not taking anything else from the other teams near the top of the power rankings, but this is pretty much close to the absolute cream of the crop. The Utah Snow Bears and the Arkansas Rim Rockers. We'll be rejoined by Nathan Christian. I'm Tommy Chrysan. We'll come back. Starting lineups. Get you set for tonight's ball game. It's the ABA Game of the Week on America One Sports.
We're about ready to tip it off. The Utah Snow Bears and the Arkansas Rim Rockers. Let's get a look at the starting lineups. The 23 and 1 Utah Snow Bears. Head coach is Ike Austin, an 11 year veteran of the NBA. He'll start at the guard positions. Dino Tanner and Clay Tucker. Forwards Harold Arsenault and Nate Driggers. The center is Cameron Coford. For the Arkansas Rim Rockers, head coach Joe Harge. They come in with the their record of 24, 5 and 4. At guard, Kareem Reed, guard Brandon Dean. Forwards are Brian Jackson and Jamal Davis, as well as Todd Day, the go-to guy for the Rim Rockers. My name is Tommy Chrysan. It's my pleasure to again be joined by Nathan Christian, a local sports radio personality on The Buzz 103.7. That's 103.7 The Buzz. Nathan, who was with us a couple of weeks ago for a Arkansas victory over Colorado on the ABA game of the week. Nathan, glad to have you back with Pelican Sports. Thank you very much, Tommy. Glad to be back. I expect we'll have a much better basketball game than we had. If you recall, that was quite a blowout. Two outstanding teams, both well coached. Big crowd expected on hand. Uh, you get a look at the Rim Rocker dance team who will entertain at different points throughout the night. So our referees for tonight's ball game, three-man ABA crew supplied by the ABA office. Our referees for tonight are Brad Groinger, Keith McLaughlin, and Tom Chichester. Utah Snow Bears dressed in the dark blue uniforms with white numbers and trim. The Snow Bears from Salt Lake City, Utah. The Arkansas Rim Rockers in the white jerseys with blue numbers and red trim as we are set to begin tonight's ball game. Again, with Nathan Christian, my name's Tommy Chrysan, and this is about as good as it gets when it comes to ABA basketball. Arkansas 25 and 4, Utah 23 and 1. You see Coach Ike Austin, head coach of the Utah Snow Bears, having a word with the official as we get set for the opening tip. What a great atmosphere for ABA basketball here in Little Rock, Tommy. Uh, they, there are still a lot of people up there getting the autographs of Shawn Michaels. Shawn and, Michaels, uh, a heartbreak kid of the WWE who will join us for a halftime interview. You don't want to miss that. Again, Utah in the blue uniforms, Arkansas in the white. Utah will move right to left for you here in the first quarter. Four 12-minute quarters in ABA basketball. The red, white, and blue trademark ball. A couple of other rule changes that we'll tell you about or rule variances we'll tell you about as the night goes along and they become pertinent. Jamal Davis, 6'9 out of Cincinnati, will jump it up against 7'1 Cameron Coford out of Utah, University of Utah. And we're set to go. The ABA game in a week on America One Sports, and we're underway. Dino Tanner, the point guard out of Oregon State with the basketball for Utah. Man-to-man -man defense for the Arkansas Rim Rockers. Clay Tucker, he's their leading scorer. He's got the ball averaging 21 and a half points a game. Here's a steal by Kareem Reed. Brandon Dean will push it up the floor. Davis for three, and Arkansas is on the board first with a three-pointer from Jamal Davis. Just stepped right up. He's got the range to do it. Big guy, that's the thing. Big guys can do a lot for this basketball team. It's what makes them so dangerous. Tanner against the man-to-man -man defense will go left wing to Nate Driggers, 6'6", six, six out of Montevello. Tried to get it to Coford, but it's off his hands. Turnover, Arkansas ball. Two times down the floor, two turnovers. Not the way you want to get started against this rim rocker bunch. Day with a high cross-court pass. Dean to Reed. Underhand scoop shot, no good. Rebound, Brian Jackson. Go inside to Davis. Six-foot jumper goes in. Two and it two. is five points for Davis, and this is his first start of the season good. for the Rim Rockers. And it's a good start for his first start, two for two from the field already, including he's got, a three-point basket. He's got five, Utah yet to score. Here's Tanner, lost his balance. They say Utah ball on the baseline. Crowd doesn't like that call. I might agree with the crowd on that one. I don't but, know about that. But we're not referees, we're announcers, so we'll let those guys handle it. <laughs> Nate Driggers will inbound for the Snow Bears. Tucker back up top to Tanner. Again, Tucker's their leading scorer. Driggers will take a three. Rebound hits the floor. It'll be hustled up by Davis, who threw it out of bounds off of Driggers. Arkansas ball. Utah not having very productive trips down the court. They did finally get a shot off on that possession. Kareem Reed, the point guard from the University of Arkansas. Great passer of the basketball. Here's Davis. 
Shot no good. Rebound Tanner. Utah pushing it up the floor, all the way to the hoop and in. First bucket of the night for the Snow Bears goes to Dino Tanner. Reed in the left corner, man to man Utah defense. 12 on the shot clock. Reed will reset things. Brandon Dean, right wing, leaves it for Todd Day. Day with the turnaround jumper is good. From 15 feet, Todd Day where he picks picks up where he left off in the fourth quarter the other night. Had and it's 30. seven to two, Arkansas. Had 30 in the second half the other night, Tommy. Sorry about that. Arsenault up top. We'll go left side to Driggers who will launch a three. Count it for Nate Driggers. Both these teams can pull it. Both these teams can knock it down. As you see right there, Nate Driggers draining the three. Two point rim rocker lead. And we got a whistle away from the ball. Our first call of the night will be whistled on 21. Harold Arsenault, first personal, first team foul on Utah. Eighth team foul per quarter sends the other team to the free throw line for two shots. There's no such thing as one and one in ABA basketball. Kareem Reed inbounds to Jackson who will put it up from 15 feet. Count it, Brian Jackson, the 6'9 forward out of Oregon State, and it's a four-point Arkansas lead. Yeah, so these big guys for Arkansas can pull it from anywhere on the court, Tommy. That's what makes them so dangerous. Offensive call on Tanner as he lowered the shoulder. First personal second team foul. There you see it on your screen. Well, there it is on the screen. Looks like a little acting by Reed. He might have gotten away with it. Reed to Davis. No good. Here comes Tucker with the basketball. Clay Tucker, native of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Tanner into the paint. Eight foot jumper. No good. Here comes Kareem Reed. Rim Rockers like to run. Todd Day will give it left corner. Brandon Dean for three. Rebound Arsenault for Utah. Harold Arsenault, the Weaver State product. They call him the show, and there's a reason for that, Tommy. And put one on. Driggers with the basketball will try a three. Day rebounds, and here come the rim rockers. Driggers. Kareem Reed, he'll get it up the floor in a hurry. Lay it up and in. Kareem Reed. He gets to the basket fast. Driggers a little flat on his shot so far. 22nd timeout called by Utah. The coach Ike Austin wants a snow bear timeout. 8.03 to go first quarter. Our score, Arkansas 11, Utah 5. We're back after this pause on America One Sports. Seven to five, the first quarter score, the ABA game of the week. Red Altel Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. A quick look at some statistics early on. Utah shooting 40% from the field, two of five, and not, uh, if not if one of three from the three-point line. Arkansas, five out of nine in the first half for 55%, one out of two from the three-point line. As it's 11 to five. Rebounds, four to three, nothing significant there. There's uh, been three turnovers on Utah, none on Arkansas. That's your six-point difference, 11 to five here at All Tell Arena. They're throwing out some T-shirts to the fans here as they keep it exciting here in Arkansas. As we mentioned in the pregame, the, the model for how it should be done in the ABA. Utah's got to take better care of the basketball, Tommy. With Nathan Christian, my name's Tommy Chrysler. Kareem Reed had 11 uh, had 11 points in or had 11 assists and one turnover the last time they played basketball 
and that is the model of efficiency. Utah basketball across the way at the, near the midcourt line. Harold Arsenault will throw it in. Rim Rockers lead by six points. Man-to-man -man defense for Arkansas. Ball tapped out of bounds, but that will remain possession of Utah. And Driggers will throw it in. Nate Driggers, 6'6", six, six out of Montevello. Played a little stint with the Boston Celtics of the NBA. Arsenal up top. Driggers. Not a lot of movement. Curtis Millage checked in for Utah. Shot clock violation. Good Arkansas defense. I had no idea that either of these teams could ever get a shot clock violation, Tommy. Good but job of the Arkansas man-to-man -man defense. Curtis Millage, a former Arizona State Sun Devil, 6'3", number 14, has checked in. And he guards Kareem Reed up top. That's too many times down the floor without getting a shot off, Tommy. Jamal Davis. Puts it on the floor. Brandon Dean. Reed. Day with a long three. Had three on the shot clock. He had to let it go. Driggers to the hoop. Fouled. Counting. Todd Day's whistle for the foul, and Nate Driggers has a basket, and he'll get a free throw. Arkansas didn't rotate back. Utah got a great, did a great job in getting the ball down court. Driggers took it to the hoop, and the hoop and the horn. Todd Day with the foul. Get a good look at Driggers. 6'6", six, six out of Montevello. Good shoot one, and he converts it, and it's a three-point Arkansas lead as Driggers Converts the three-point play after the foul on Todd Day. That was Todd's first personal, first team foul on Arkansas. Reed with the ball. Inside to Brian Jackson. Has it batted away. Scramble for it off his leg. Turnover. Utah will have the ball. Utah's a very, very impressive defensive basketball team. They're doing a good job of getting in Todd Day's face thus far. Driggers up top. Puts it on the floor to the hoop. Count it. Good drive by Nate Triggers. Strong drive to the basket. We got a one point game, 11 to 10, Arkansas. Davis will drive it, kick it out. Jackson, 15 foot jumper. It's not any good. Arsenal will take it the other way for the Snow Bears. Couple of spin moves, and he'll kick it left corner. Millage, count it. Utah has their first lead of the night on the three-pointer by Curtis Millage, 13 to 11, Utah. The Rim Rockers not accustomed to trailing on their home court, Tommy. But there's a reason Utah is the top team in the ABA. Gonna call an offensive foul on Todd Day. Second personal, second team foul. The crowd not a fan of that call. So Utah with the ball on a two-point lead. Driggers looks for help. Arsenal from 17 feet. Comes out of there. Brian Jackson with the rebound. Here comes Kareem Reed. All the way to the hoop goes Reed. Had the shot partially blocked by Antoine Broxy, who checked in. Down low, Driggers converts, and it's a four-point Utah lead. Assist Millage. Driggers having quite a game. Kind of a repeat of what we saw the first game between these two teams. Davis on the low block. Former Cincinnati Bearcat. Jump shot off the glass, no good. Not a good shot by Davis. Good and shot Antoine Davis. Broxy gets the rebound. Broxy 6'10 out of Oklahoma State. Millage hit a three earlier, misses that one. Broxy with yet another rebound, it's third of the night. Under five minutes to go, first quarter, another offensive foul. We've seen a lot of offensive fouls tonight. This one on Clay Tucker of Utah. Kareem Reed draws a second charge. Good play by Kareem Reed. Maybe a bit of an acting job, Tommy. Could have been a little bit. They have taken some theater classes up at the University of Arkansas, but he gets away with it. <laughs> he got that one to go his way. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it does not. Here's Reed with the ball. Four-point deficit for Arkansas. 
as Utah has scored seven straight points. Now we got a holding foul on Nate Driggers, his first personal, fourth team foul on Utah. And this time the uh, the call goes the other way. Last time down the court, Todd picks up an offensive foul. This very physical game so far. Two very focused basketball teams going to make for an intense match up tonight. Johnson Johnson, Johnson, Johnson in the game. has checked in for Arkansas, number 51, former North Texas performer. Davis with the jump hook in the lane, count it, 15-13 Utah on top. Here's Arsenault. And that's a traveling call. Turnover against Utah. Oh my, we've got a little extracurricular going on. As Todd Day ran by Arsenault, there was a little bit of a trip. Delay a game warning on the Utah team. There you see it on your screen. Todd got tripped up by Harold Arsenault as he ran by. Arsenault got injured slightly in the game Thursday, Tommy. Maybe be suffering the ill effects of that. A little ankle problem, but he appears to be okay. Todd Day. Trigger's doing a good job with Day. 10 on the shot clock. Very physical away from the ball. Here's Reed in the lane, whistle, and a foul. Kareem Reed penetrates, draws the foul. Very physical, as you mentioned, Tommy, very physical basketball game. Reed hit going down the, going into the key. He's going to go to the line. Driggers, obviously the uh, coach has told them to play very physical basketball with Todd Day. Kareem Reed, 5'11", former Arkansas Razorback, hits his first, he'll get another. Checking in for Arkansas, number 21, Marco Cole, a 6'6 guard out of Louisiana Tech. Reed will get another free throw, and if he can convert, he'll tie it. Tie the ball game, I should say. Cole's checking in for uh, Brandon Dean. Reed, the left-hander, has dished out many an assist as an Arkansas Razorback. He hits both free throws, and we're knotted at 15. Under four minutes to go, quarter number one. Millage with the basketball for the Utah Snow Bears. Jared Ramirez has the three block by Todd Day. Here's Kareem Reed, whistle and a foul on Tucker. Tucker fouled Reed as he was headed for a layup. Block shot and the Rockers are off and running. Got the foul call. Seventh correction, three minutes, 43 seconds to go first quarter. We're tied at 15 from Alltel Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas with Nathan Christian. My name's Tommy Chrysan. We're back. After this pause on America One Sports. Welcome back to All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. 15-15 our score here in the first quarter with 3.43 to go. A quick look at the stats. Utah now shooting 50% from the floor, six out of 12. Arkansas, six out of 14. Six rebounds for Arkansas, eight rebounds for Utah. Six turnovers on Utah, only two for Arkansas. We're tied at 15. Jamal Davis leads the way for Arkansas with seven points, and Nate Driggers has eight to lead the way so far for Utah. And with his men, a back and forth, Utah had a seven, nothing scoring run. But to get us at the 15-15 mark, both teams almost 
feeling each other out after having played only two nights ago. Utah taking better care of the basketball and uh, playing good defense, playing very physical defense. Driggers on Todd Day. Also, that field goal percentage going up for Utah because Driggers is getting to the basket. Arkansas in white, Utah in the dark blue, the ABA game in a week. Arkansas with the ball, Kareem Reed. As we approach three and a half minutes to go first. Water Davis in the high post today, 12 on a shot clock. Reed left corner. Davis will put it on the ground. 15 foot jumpers, good by Jamal Davis. Nice shot by Davis. Give him nine points on the night. And the Arkansas Rim Rockers are back in the lead, 17 15. Curtis Millage with the ball for Utah. Driggers for three. Count it, Nate Driggers, three pointer, Utah back on top. Driggers has been a busy man in this first quarter. Add a three to Driggers scoring total. Todd Day up top. Arkansas swings it around. Utah has switched to his own defense. Alley to Cole, goaltending. Roxy went up high and hit it after it hit the window. Goaltending, it'll be a basket for Marco Cole. Reed was a little late on that pass, but it worked out for him. Cole caught it, brought it down. Cameron Coford, starting center for Utah, checks back in. Seven foot one from the University of Utah. And the crowd is getting excited because the big O, Oliver Miller, former Razorback, getting ready to check in for the Rim Rockers. Coford, seven foot one with the ball up high. Here's Driggers on the drive, whistle, and a screening foul whistled on Cameron Coford. Seventh team foul on Utah. This point forward, it'll be a bonus situation for Arkansas. And big number 50, Oliver Miller, six foot nine. About 300 will be nice. Former Razorback, former NBA player, played in the NBA Western Conference Finals last year with the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's in the ball game for Arkansas. Now, Tommy, how much did you say he weighed? I was being nice at 300 as Marco Cole hits the three-pointer, and it's a four-point Arkansas lead. 300 was being real nice. <laughs> I'm saying it was real nice. Coford offensive board in a bucket. Cameron Coford on the miss by Tucker. Didn't get blocked off by anybody from the Rim Rockers. Came in from the wing. Nice uh, play. I've been told 350 would be nice on the number 50, holding the ball up high. Oliver Miller. Yeah, he he he's toting close to four, Tommy. I believe. Uh, big guy. The only Razorback player to have ever been caught eating a hot dog on the bench during a during a televised basketball game. I can not, assure you. It's not a big surprise. Two point Arkansas lead to have the ball. We got a whistle. Three seconds in the lane. Whistled on Shawson Johnson. Had his foot in there. Odd call, but nonetheless, that is a turnover. And it's Utah basketball trailing by two. Driggers will launch a three. Count it. Utah's back on top. Nate Driggers. This guy can shoot the ball. Driggers got four, has 14, I believe. Johnson Johnson in the game. Goes inside to Miller, whistle, foul. Oliver Miller takes up a lot of space in the middle. He does. You know, they did they got uh, they did get 20 minutes out of Oliver Miller in the first contest. They expect to get numbers out of him like that. He had 6.7 rebounds uh, in that game. He also had a three-point basket in that game, a three-point shot. Oliver Miller will shoot two. One of the things you'll see about Oliver Tommy as the game goes on is what an effective passer he can be. He has great hands for a big guy. Arsenault, Harold the show Arsenault back in for Utah. 126 to go here. Quarter number one. Get a good look at Oliver Miller. He'll shoot the second of two. He missed the first. He fills the screen quite nice that time. He's got that one in there. We're tied at 23, our fourth tie of the night. Full court pressure. Reed will pick it up. He only gets seven seconds to get it across the half court line in ABA basketball. Millage drives, lays it up, no good. 
Crawford gets the rebound. Tucker, their leading scorer. Inside Crawford, whistle and a foul on Oliver Miller, his first personal. Third team foul on the Rim Rockers. Crawford came across the lane, got a little push from Oliver. I don't know that anything's little with Oliver. <laughs> we approach the one minute mark, quarter number one. Driggers, 18 footer, was partially blocked by Johnson, but controlled, and now Driggers again from three, no good. Reed picks up the loose ball and has it stolen by Arsenault. Harold Arsenault slams it home. Shell went up and got a dunk, and, that and that's was in a the 3D, so that dunk is worth three, three points. points. That's a three point dunk in the 3D backcourt steal rule, and it's a three point Arkansas lead. Correction, Utah lead. Whistle and a foul inside. Kareem Coford again. And Oliver Miller will get a couple of free throws. That steal was in the backcourt that puts the 3D rule in effect in ABA basketball. So that slam dunk by Harold Arsenault was worth three points, giving Utah the 26-23 lead. 35.5 on a game clock, quarter number one. Rare backcourt turnover from Kareem Reed. Oliver Miller will shoot two. Makes the first, he'll get another. Miller's second show is an air ball, a little short. Wow. You don't see a lot of air balls on free throws, but we just saw one. I don't even know if he hit the bottom of the net, Tommy. He misjudged it. 33 on the game clock, 20 now on a shot clock. Arsenal take it to the hoop. Has it blocked, and he's fouled by Miller. Miller I thought Miller had the block, but he was whistled for the foul, and it'll be two shots for Harold Arsenal. Anytime you put the arm, anytime you put the arm over the player like that, you're more than likely to get the call, Tommy. And uh, he definitely got him. Two shots for Harold Arsenault, 6'6 six, six out of Weber State, a native of New Orleans, Louisiana. Arsenault hits the first, he'll get another. Three point Utah lead, 27.6 on the game clock. Here in quarter number one from All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas, an outstanding facility. Arsenal hits the second, and it's a four point Utah lead. Grim Rockers not too accustomed to being behind. This one's early. We'll see how they respond. Reed with the ball, 12 on the shot clock. You see the game clock on your screen, eight on the shot clock. Reed looking for Cole. Cole with a three, no good. Rebound by Arsenault, two seconds. Arsenault from half court, that's the end of the half. And that ball went in and been worth four points as any shot in ABA basketball from the back court is four points. It could be five in a 3D rule situation. But we have reached the end of quarter number one here at the all Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas with Nathan Christian. My name's Tommy Chrysan, 28-24. Utah on top, we're back with more of the ABA game of the week. You're watching America One Sports. She was 50% in the first quarter. So does Arkansas. Arkansas 9 of 18, Utah 10 of 20. Free throws, 5 out of 11 for Utah. 4 out of 6 from Arkansas. Utah out rebounding Arkansas 12 to 7. Turnovers, 7 for Utah, 4 for Arkansas. As we head to the second quarter, and Utah has a four point lead. You mentioned Utah with a rebound advantage. Arkansas has not done a good job of keeping 
Utah off the glass. Not screening, uh, especially away from the shot, Tommy. And that's why they had the lead, 28-24. Arkansas Rim Rockers in the white uniforms, blue numbers, red trim. The Utah Snow Bears, his owner Larry Crane with a couple of his granddaughters who are dancing with the Rim Rocker dance team. Larry Crane, a good businessman throughout central Arkansas, a variety of businesses, and now the owner of this ABA franchise, the Arkansas Rim Rockers. Yeah, the stars are out. Reggie Swinton of the Detroit Lions just stopped by and said hello to us. Shawn Michaels, the wrestler. He'll join us at halftime. Arkansas ball as we begin quarter number two. Brandon Dean, Todd Day, Johnson Johnson, Oliver Miller, Marco Cole on the floor for Arkansas. Johnson can't convert the tip. Here comes Curtis Millage. Triggers for three left corner. Rebound Coford. Offensive board for Utah. They'll get a second chance. Ball came off strong, and that is the reason they're winning this basketball game. Rebounding the basketball very well. That and the three-point shooting of Nate Triggers. Six on the shot clock, Arsenault. Down low to Clay Tucker. Three on the shot clock, Tucker's shot, he's fouled. Whistled on Marco Cole. It'll be a couple of free throws for Clay Tucker. There you see it, Tucker. Moving to the center and getting bailed out, really with one second on the shot clock. No question about it, got him across the arm. Marco Cole with the foul. Tucker hits the first, he'll get another. Ryan Jackson back in the game for Arkansas. He's a 6'9 forward out of Oregon State. Former all Pac-10 performer. Tucker oh. hits them both, and it's the biggest lead of the night for Utah. Six-point difference, 30 to 24. The Snow Bears on top. Miller got to the line a couple of times. Other than that, fairly ineffective. Ryan Jackson. Down low to Johnson, stolen by Arsenault. Millage picks it up, and here come the Snow Bears. Arsenault for three. Counted Harold Arsenault, and it's a nine-point Utah lead. Coach Joe Harge of Arkansas wants a timeout. 10.53 to go, quarter number two. Joe Harge, the head coach of the Rim Rockers, will talk to his team, and we'll be back after this pause. You're watching the ABA game in a week from all Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. Snow Bears up by nine. You're watching America One Sports. Arkansas down nine as Reed drives, 10 on the shot clock. We got a whistle and a three second violation turnover against Charlton Johnson. Whistle for being in the lane. That's two of those for Johnson. Now we got a warning on the Arkansas team for delaying the game. This Utah basketball team is an excellent defensive basketball team. Well, Ike Austin, the coach of Utah, was known for his defensive play in the NBA, and he's got it rubbing off on the Snow Bears here. They have their biggest lead of the night at nine points, and they'll try to add to it. They did lead by as many as 13 the other night against Arkansas, but Arkansas prevailed. There's a turnover on Arsenal, whistled for the traveling violation. The show shuffled the feet there before he got his move started. Rim Rocker basketball. Kareem Reed with the Stop. shot, no good. Rebound Tucker. by Tucker. Arsenault the other way. Three pointer by Arsenault. Can't convert. Todd Day with the basketball for the Rim Rockers ahead to Brandon Dean. Dean spinning and turning. Whistle traveling on Dean. Turnover. 
Too many turnovers both ways tonight. Now it's the Rim Rockers being a little bit sloppy with the basketball. Quickly up court. Now Tucker with the ball. Tucker, 10 foot jumper is no good. And he gets shot. his offensive rebound. Second chance again for Utah. Triggers into the paint to Coford in the corner. Millage for three. Count it, Curtis Millage. And it's a 12 point Utah lead, 36 to 24. Kareem Reed will bring it the other way for Arkansas. Offensive rebounding and wide open shots. Man-to-man -man defense for Utah. Gets you a lead every time. Brian Jackson up top. Todd Day been kind of quiet, and he's fouled. Fouled whistled on Nate Driggers. Todd a little frustrated thus far in this basketball game. They're going to call that foul on the floor. As you see, Day make the move. That's a good call by the official. Sure. I think that body. He's frustrated Stop. with the way he's being played. Kareem Reed, left wing, leaves it for Todd Day. Day trying to get active. 12 foot jumper on the baseline is no good. Jackson rebounds, leaves it for Day. Whistle, he's fouled by Coford. Good work on the offensive glass by Brian Jackson. Utah's been very effective uh, with offensive rebounding that time. The Rim Rockers returning the favor as you see Todd Day. Took a pretty good shot getting inside. You know, Tommy, Todd Day had a very slow start the last two, last time these two teams played. He had five points in the first half. And, uh, of course, the second half was a different story for him. Todd Day at the line now. 6'9 out of University of Arkansas. Veteran NBA player as well. First free throw is good. And Todd Day will get another. Jamal Davis back in for Arkansas. Also Rashad Davis. Checks in for Utah, number 22. Rashad Davis makes his first Snow Bear appearance tonight. He's 6'6 out of University of Hawaii Pacific. Dino Tanner also back in the game for Utah. Todd Day Todd, with the second shot. Todd Day will shoot his second. They can't get that one to go down. Rebound by Davis. Out of bounds will be Arkansas ball. Good job by Jackson of keeping the basketball alive. Todd Day will inbound on the baseline under the snow, under the rim rocker basket. Jamal Davis, zone defense for Utah. Reed, left-handed three is good for Kareem Reed. Kareem Reed showing he can hit the three-point shot. And just that quickly, a 12-point game is an eight-point game. Dino Tanner with the basketball up top for Utah. Eight and a half minutes to go, quarter number two. Coford, whistle, he's called for the offensive foul. Good defense by Jamal Davis for the Rim Rockers. Nice give and go, but Coford got a little too close. There you have it, give and go, and Four straight points for Arkansas. They'll try to add to that. Cut into this eight-point deficit. Kareem Reed, left side. Brandon Dean, 10 on the shot clock. Day for three is no good. Long rebound goes to Brandon Dean. New shot clock for Arkansas. Day into the paint. A lot of banging going on. We got a whistle. You got to respect the three point shot for Todd Day as they close out on the shooter. Todd Day makes the move and picks up the foul. Foul called on Tucker. 7.58 to go, second quarter. Our score the Utah Snow Bears 36, the Arkansas Rim Rockers 28. With Nathan Christian, my name's Tommy Christ, and you're watching the ABA Game of the Week on America One Sports.
Leading scorers so far tonight, Nate Driggers has 14 for Utah. Harold Arsenault, 10 for Utah. They're the only guys in double digits for the Snow Bears. On behalf of Arkansas, leading scorer is Jamal Davis with nine points. Kareem Reed has seven. Three assists so far for Reed as Arkansas continues to lose the battle on the boards. Utah with 16 rebounds, Arkansas with 12. And it is a eight point lead for the Snow Bears after having led by four at the end of quarter number one. Good basketball game, exactly what we what we expected. Hard fought up and down the floor. 36 28 Utah. We're at the All Tell Arena, Little Rock, Arkansas. I think it's a bigger crowd than it was last time you guys were in town. Always like our trips to the Little Rock area. Since some of your crew to the Toby Keith concert here at the All Tell last night. Hope they good, had a good, good time. time was had by all. Todd Day to the free throw line for the Rim Rockers. Day hits the first, the former first round draft choice of the Boston Celtics. And he'll get another. Day makes the second. And we've got a six point game, and Arkansas will pick up some full court pressure. Joe Hart's trying to do something to get some intensity up with his basketball team. Tucker left side. Tucker into the paint. Whistle foul on Brandon Dean. Not a shooting foul. Ball will be out of bounds for Utah on the baseline under the Snow Bear bucket. They've got a six point advantage at this point. Tucker made his move into, into Dean and got the foul. Tucker for a long three counted. Clay Tucker. He's the leading scorer for the Snow Bears, and we see why. That's exactly why the guy can fill it up. Nine point lead for the Snow Bears. They go back to their zone defense. Dean, Jamal Davis for three out near the top of the key. Nothing but the net for Jamal Davis. That's his second from that spot, Tommy. Driggers Damn. turns it over with the traveling violation. I don't think Driggers was expecting that pass, Tommy, that quickly. This team getting up and down the floor. What in a good position to take that pass. Six point deficit for the Rim Rockers. They have the ball. Todd Day cross court to Reed. Brian Jackson, 18 foot jumper. No good. Rebound Tucker. Snow Bears will push it. Ball batted out of bounds by Dean. It'll be Utah ball. And Antoine Broxy will check back in with the Snow Bears. 6'10 out of Oklahoma State. As will Curtis Millage, the former Arizona State star. Coach Ike Austin of Utah making substitutions. I you only got 10 guys on the roster. You got to substitute and keep them fresh. That's typical of an ABA game. Driggers on the right wing. Goes down low to Broxy. Millage, six on the shot clock. Broxy, fadeaway jumper is no good. Rebound Todd Day. Good defense by Brian Jackson. Pushing him away from the hoop. Reed, tough shot. Day for three. Count it, Todd Day. And we got a three-point game. Just like that. It's fast action in the ABA. Coach Ike Austin of the Utah Snow Bears wants a timeout. 39-36 is our score. Utah is on top of Arkansas with Nathan Christian, local sports radio personality from 103.7 The Buzz. My name's Tommy Christ and the ABA Game in a Week on America One Sports.
Mike Austin, head coach of the Utah Snowbears, called the timeout right there. And he's letting his team have it during that break. Nathan, what's Mike Austin telling the Snowbears? You know, I'll tell you one thing. If I were a Snowbear, I'd do whatever he was telling me because I, I, he looked rather furious. He was he was upset with Rashad Davis's shot on the baseline. He is absolutely on his team about ball movement, Tommy. Utah will have the ball with 19 on the shot clock. 6-11 to go, quarter number two. Utah with the three-point lead and the basketball. Man-to-man -man defense for Arkansas. Driggers, not afraid to shoot, but he was covered up by Jackson. Long three by Millage, no good. Shot clock bailout, it leads to a Brent, break. Brandon Dean all the way, laying up, no good. Millage rebounds. Dean couldn't convert. Utah quickly back the other way. Millage got it back, and then he's fouled by Brian Jackson. Sloppy break, and Brian Jackson with a very, very hard foul on Millage. Curtis Millage. Picked up the ball, picked the ball and, and yeah, hard Ryan foul Jackson. by Jackson. Miller's six foot three out of Arizona State. He'll get a pair of free throws. And Brian Jackson a little bit bigger. Not quite a fair match. Jackson all of 6'9", 250. Millage gets the shooter's bounce and the first one goes in, he'll get another. Five minutes, 40 seconds to go, quarter number two. Shot comes out, Davis rebounds, Arkansas with the ball, trailing by four. Davis for three, an air ball. That was not a good shot by Jamal Davis. Not quite Coach a spot. Joe Harge so. didn't like that one a whole lot. Not quite a spot. He shot a 20-footer from 21 feet. <laughs> Millage with the ball, man-to-man -man Arkansas defense. Tucker, 12 on the shot clock. Clay Tucker drives. Good defense, shot blocked by Dean. Lead pass ahead to Reed. Reed will lay it up and in the left-hander. We got a two-point game, close as Arkansas has been in quarter number two. They did a good job of defending the break last time, last time down, Tommy, not that time. Nobody back. Harold the show, Arsenault with the ball, 10 on the shot clock. Arsenault. We'll shoot it and draw the foul, wow. count it. What a play uh, by the show, Harold Arsenault. There's a reason they call him the show. I think you see why. He got Brian Jackson. Here it is. Step to the baseline, got Brian Jackson in the air. Moved into him, got the shot and the foul. Arsenault, 6'6", out of Weber State. Great play by Harold Arsenault. Arsenault converts the three-point play. That was a good show by Harold the Show Arsenault, and it's a five-point Utah lead. Arkansas in white with the basketball. Kareem Reed, 10 on the shot clock. Brian Jackson, two-pointers good. Had his foot on the line, that's a two-pointer for Brian Jackson. The 6'9 kid from Morgan State has that range. Turned it over, does Arsenault, and it's Arkansas ball. Four and a half minutes to go, quarter number two. Green Reed with the basketball. Reed, 15-foot jumper is no good. Jackson left it for Davis. Here's Todd Day whistling an offensive foul on Todd Day. Third personal of the night on Day. Fourth team foul in quarter number two. Here's Crowd Davis. not a big fan of that call. See it on the replay. Close, Arsenal, huh? That's really close. Ooh. I think you could go with that one. Arsenal looked like he got there. Good job by the Pelican sports crew on the replay. Todd Day doesn't like the call, of course. Here's Jackson ahead to Reed. Reed lays it up and in. He had the seven-footer going after him. Threw it up high on the glass, Tommy. One-point game. Here's quickly the other way, Utah. Two triggers. Slammed it home. He flushed it with two hands. Nate Driggers on the assist from Tucker. Three-point Utah lead. Todd Day wheeling and dealing. Can't get it to go down. Here comes Arsenault the other way. Arsenault. Good no-look pass to Driggers. Nice move. Count it. Nate Driggers from Arsenault. 
Good ball movement that time by Utah. Great job of getting the ball down the floor quickly and getting it to the open man. Five point Utah lead, Arkansas. Jamal Davis on a low block. Makes his move, shot no good. Arsenal rebounds. Ahead to Tucker, Tucker whistle down. and a foul on Brendan Dean. No, they're gonna call traveling. We're gonna call traveling. And the 3D rule is in effect. 3D is in effect. The turnover in the backcourt. So a basket by Arkansas will be worth an extra point. We'll keep it right here, tell you about the 3D rule. When you get a turnover in the backcourt, the ABA basketball, 3D rule goes into effect. The officials signal, they flash the signal to the score table. We've got the 3D graphic for you. So what happens right now is if Arkansas were to make a two, re regulation two-point bucket, it'd be worth three. If they make a three-pointer, it's worth four. If they get a foul, they get an extra free throw. It's part of the unique uh, variety of added entertainment and exciting that the ABA does for its teams and fans. So we have a 3D rule in effect. It'll be in effect until Arkansas loses possession or converts a bucket. So that's just an added level of excitement by the ABA. Which is why, as you mentioned in the first quarter, when Arsenault got the dunk off the backcourt turnover by Kareem Reed, a three-point dunk. Also want to tell you, you can get some more information about the ABA. Go to our website, www.pelicansportstv.com. That's pelicansportstv.com. Search around for the ABA logo that you see on the left of your screen there, and you can find out. That'll take you to their website. Find out about teams in your area, league news. That's pelicansportstv.com. Check it out. Learn more about the ABA and more about Pelican Sports TV based in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, producing tonight's ball game for the ABA. Quick look at some statistics. Utah shooting 50% from the floor from the free throw line. There's seven out of eight. Arkansas, 44% from the floor, seven out of 10 from the free throw line. And Utah still winning the rebound battle, 20 to 17. I got some great promotional activities going on around here for the fans. It looks like they've been involved drinking some $2 beers, but actually they just spun around the bat a few times, Tommy. Fans are having fun, the crowd's enjoying it. ABA basketball. I don't know about that, Tommy. One guy was playing with a little littler ball than the other guy. Don't forget at halftime, we'll have the heartbreak kid from the WWE, Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid, three-time world champion wrestler. He'll be joining us among the many things we'll have for you at halftime tonight. Here in Little Rock, Arkansas at the Alltel Arena. Brandon Dean will inbound right in front of us for Arkansas as they trail by five with 3.13 to go. You get a look at the Rim Rocker Rowdies throwing some t-shirts. And having some fun at the arena tonight. Great crowd tonight, Tommy. Great atmosphere for a basketball game. I'm expecting around 9,000. Reed with the basketball. Arkansas trails by five. Up top to Dean. Man to man defense for Utah. 10 on the shot clock. Six on the shot clock. Ball batted away, loose ball picked up by Millage for Utah. Five point lead and the basketball for the Snow Bears of Utah. Physical play inside led to that turnover. Cross court to Arsenault. Harold the show Arsenault to the paint running jump shot is good. Arsenault with another bucket and it's a seven point Utah lead. Arsenal now with 15 points on the night. Showing why they call him the show. Reed up top for the Rim Rockers. Man to man defense, alley oop to Dean. A little high. Couldn't shoot it. Back to Reed, two on a shot clock, gotta hurry. And that's gonna be a Didn't shot clock off. violation. We had one earlier against Utah. Now we have a shot clock violation against Arkansas. Credit the Utah defense. Alley you pass a little bit too high for Brandon Dean. Two minutes to go in the half, two minutes. Arsenal with the ball, 145. 
Six on the shot clock. Arsenal takes it all away. Missed the layup. Johnson Johnson rebounds. Fouled by Kofer. Strong move by Arsenal to the basket. Nice spin. Oliver Miller will check back in for the Rim Rockers, as will Marco Cole. You see the rebound, the foul by Coford. Good body position by Shawson Johnson. Broxy will check in for Utah as Coach Ike Austin will counter some of Oliver Miller's size with the 6'10". Antoine Broxy, number 33. You see he and Miller pairing up right there on your screen. Seven point Utah lead. Arkansas in the white with the basketball. Miller puts it on the floor. Shot is blocked by Broxy, but offensive rebound and a bucket by Kareem Reed. The little one in the right place at the right time. Full court pressure from Arkansas. Utah will bring it up. Arsenault with the ball covered up by Johnson. Arsenault will take it into the paint. And we got a whistle and a foul with 1.10 to go in the half. Ball will be inbound on the baseline, not a shooting foul. We're not close to the bonus yet. A couple fouls to give as you see the block by Johnson Johnson. Driggers, Driggers will inbound. It's been a physical it basketball game. Tucker. Okay. Tucker for three. Bang. No good. Ball batted out of bounds. It's Utah ball. They'll get a new shot clock. 106 to go in the half. Five point Snow Bear lead and they have the ball. Nate Driggers will inbound. Driggers to Arsenault. Full shot clock. Tucker, 12 foot jumper in the lane. Long rebound, hits the floor. Reed has it. He'll go the other way. Under a minute to go. Ball batted out of bounds. Arkansas ball. 53.4 seconds remaining in the half. 20 on the shot clock for Arkansas. Nice job. Joe Hart, head coach of the Rim Rockers. Checking it out as we get near the halftime mark. Inbound pass gets away, but then Shawson Johnson controls it. Inbounds to Miller. Day for three. Top of the key, no good. Rebound, Broxy. 42 on the game clock. Utah with the ball at a five point lead. Millage makes it an eight point lead. Curtis Millage for three. Arkansas not getting back on that play. Millage wide open. He's going to knock that down almost every time. Inside pass is stolen by Arsenault. Good defense by Harold Arsenault. Hit quickly come the Snow Bears, beating the Rim Rockers down the court. Millage for three again. Count it. Curtis Millage makes it an 11 point Utah lead as they have put on a seven point, a correction, nine point blitz here. Seven on the clock. Inside pass stolen by Arsenault again. Here's Millage with two seconds. Millage lays it up, no good, and that's the end of the half. 55 to 24 as Utah had a four point lead at the end of one quarter. They expand that through the second quarter as it is 55 to 44. We're actually gonna get some free throws now as they had a whistle at the same time as the buzzer. You see the file on Millage. So Millage, the 6'3 Arizona State product, gonna get a pair of free throws and try to add to that 11 point Utah lead. The clock shows no time remaining. He's got the first, he'll get another, which will be part of the second quarter, obviously, but we won't have any more action. The teams will head to the locker rooms as Millage does not convert that one. And that is the end of the first half as we had the fake end of the first half for everybody right there. <laughs> but our halftime score is Utah 56, Arkansas 44. We're at the All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's your ABA game of the week with Nathan Christian, local sports radio personality on 103.7 The Buzz in the greater Little Rock area. My name's Tommy Christ and we're back after this pause on America One Sports.
Welcome back to Alltel Arena, Little Rock, Arkansas. Halftime as Village hit one out of two free throws as a 12 point game, 56 to 44. 28 24 was the score at the end of one quarter. Utah outscores Arkansas 28 to 20 in quarter number two. They had the 12 point advantage at halftime. Again, Utah had as much as a 13 point lead a couple of nights ago. Arkansas was able to come back and win that game. So, Nathan, we should have plenty of basketball exciting action in the second half. This is one of these games where you don't want to go anywhere because anything could happen. I expect a great second half. This game eerily similar, Tommy, to the one on Thursday night. The one on Thursday night, the first half ended. I believe it was Arsenal with a half-court shot that gave them a 10-point lead. So here we have it, a 12-point lead. Todd Day struggled in the first half, and we'll see what Todd Day brings to the table in the second half. We get a good look at the Arkansas Rim Rocker dance team. Does a great job. I was in the arena a little earlier watching them warm up and practice, and that was a lot of fun. As they do a great job entertaining the crowd, changing outfits the whole bit. Let's take a look at the leading scorers. First off, for uh, Utah, they got three guys in double digits. Nate Driggers has 18 points. Harold Arsenault, 15, and Curtis Millage, who hit a couple of threes down the stretch, has. 14 points. They've shot 50% from the floor and 50% from the three-point line. For the Arkansas Rim Rockers, two guys in double digits. Kareem Reed has 13. Jamal Davis has 12. He got a lot of those 12 early in the first quarter. Again, our halftime score is 56 to 44. The Utah Snow Bears are in the lead. Nathan Christian, if you're Coach Joe Harge of the Arkansas Rim Rockers, what are you going to tell your team here at halftime? Well, they just, they, they've got a problem in the first half. They've had a problem in the first half with intensity. They are being out physical. Utah is the physical is the physical team in this game thus far. Anytime they go into the rim, they get they go to the rim, they get hit, and uh, they've got to match the intensity, the physicalness of Utah. And that's what Coach Hard is telling his basketball team right now is they've got to get tough. If you're Ike Austin, head coach of the Utah Snow Bears, what are you telling your team Keep at half with the 12 point lead? Keep it in mind that you had a lead of this nature in the third quarter a couple of nights ago. Give us what you think Coach Austin's telling the Snow Bears. Well, I can tell you right now, again, he's, he's saying it in a very intense manner, and they've got to keep doing what they're doing. What they did to Todd Day in the first half of that basketball game was what they did to him in the first half of this basketball game, and that's be physical with it. I think we saw how Todd responded to that. Todd, get, Todd got out physical, and Todd got a little frustrated. That's what we saw in the first half. So he is telling his basketball team, you've got to stay physical with Todd Day and stay in his face. You get a good look at the heartbreak kid, Sean Michaels, 20-year veteran of the WWE, a three-time world champion, first Grand Slam champion. He's a born-again Christian, married with a couple of kids, and he has uh, just finished a movie called Sweet Chin Music. Sean Michaels addressing the crowd, and we'll hear from him in just a little bit here on the halftime report. Sean Michaels, uh, like I said, a 20-year veteran of the WWE, and yet another example of this Rim Rocker organization with different promotions, different ideas, different ways to provide the fans with more than just a basketball game. You bring in a superstar from the world of wrestling. We've called we've called this team the model of what the ABA should be. Now they've taken a lesson from the local arena football team, the Twisters here which do a lot of the similar promotions. Scotty Adams with the Rim Rockers has worked with that organization, now works with this organization. And it's about providing the community with entertainment. When they come to the basketball game, get entertained, and that's why they bring in people like people like the wrestlers. Uh, they brought in Mark Martin, who is an Arkansas native, a NASCAR star. And it's just... Our uh, halftime score, do. Utah 56, Arkansas 44. We're back with more from All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. After this pause in America One Sports. Hey. Get him to sign an autograph to John.
Welcome back to the Altel Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. My name's Tommy Chrysan. My pleasure to now be joined by a superstar from the WWE, Sean Michael. Sean, how you doing tonight? I'm doing very well, thanks. Tell us about your career in the WWE. I know that's something that's meant a lot to you. It has, uh, gosh, I don't know, 17 years ago in 1988, I, I started as a tag team wrestler and just sort of, uh, you know, through persistence, determination, and who knows, maybe attrition, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, managed to, to carve out uh, a pretty decent career for myself. Certainly the fans here, great to see you tonight. You're used to being in front of big crowds, and it's great to see a crowd here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, it is, and, uh, you know, actually 20 years ago at the, at the old uh, Barton Coliseum is where I started. Uh, I was 19 years old, wrestling for Bill Watts, and, and uh, it's always, you know, I ran into somebody at the autograph session that said, I saw you when you were 19, and I never thought you'd become what you became. And uh, you know, it's 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 nice to see that because I I never forget about it. You know, I mean, th those were some of the best years of my life, and uh, you just, uh, I appreciate everything. You just completed a movie. Tell us about that. No, I, I'm not I'm not the movie guy. Oh, they told no. me you completed a movie. No, they I'm gave not. me bad information. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what are I'm, you doing these days uh, other than wrestling? I am. Uh, you know what? I am very proud to be uh, uh, a full-time uh, father and husband. You know, I. Uh, uh, I've had I've had offers to do other things, but uh, you know I aspire to become a world champion in, in the world of wrestling. I've become that. My only other aspiration is is, is to uh, raise two beautiful children and uh, uh, you know continue to be married to the most wonderful woman alive. And uh, I'm content with that. The Lord has blessed me, and I'll take I'll take that over anything in the world. Sean, we appreciate you stopping by for a minute. I know you got plenty more to do. And on behalf of America One Sports, thanks for stopping in. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Sean Michaels, WWE. He's a superstar. We're glad to have him with us. We'll be back for more halftime activity from Alltel Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm Tommy Chrysan. You're watching America One Sports. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to Halftime at All Tell Arena. I'm Tommy Christ, and now visiting with a Little Rock native, Reggie Swinton of the Detroit Lions. Reggie, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm Tell us what's good. up for Reggie Swinton and the Detroit Lions uh, looking ahead to next year's NFL season. You know, I don't know if I'll be there or not. I'm a free agent right now, so I'm going to shop around in March and see where I'll be at. But, you know, um, um, you know I'll wait and see. You are a native of Little Rock. Isn't it fun right. to be out here at All Tell Arena and see a bunch of people out to watch a pro basketball game and a good brand of basketball? Yeah, it's great. It's my first game watching them, and uh, it's a good game. So, you know, I'm glad to be here. You played your high school ball in Little Rock area. You went to Murray State over in the state of Kentucky, and we certainly want to wish you the best in the NFL, and we'll keep an eye on you. All right, and I appreciate it. That's Reggie Swinton of the Detroit Lions, free agent, looking for another squad. You can keep tabs with him in the NFL. A 12-point Utah lead. We're going to come back, get you set for the second half. You're watching the ABA. 12-point Utah lead, 56-44. With Nathan Christian, local sports personality from 1037 The Buzz. My name is Tommy Chrysler. You get a good look at the crowd as both teams are back out on the court warming up to begin quarter number three here at the Alltel Arena, Little Rock, Arkansas. Nathan, uh, about set for what should be an exciting second half of action. We are, and the Rim Rockers are going to have to show some more intensity. Get physical with Utah, because certainly Utah's been the more physical basketball team. And oftentimes the more physical basketball team is going to win the basketball game. Well, Coach Ike Austin has talked to the Snow Bears at halftime. Coach Joe Hart has talked to the Rim Rockers of Arkansas. And we're about set to go with quarter number three. Again, it's a 12-point Utah lead, 56 to 44. Crowd having lots of fun here at halftime. All Tell Arena, Little Rock, Arkansas. Do visit our website, www.pelicansportstv.com. 
That's www.pelicansportstv.com for information on us. And you can navigate to the ABA logo and get all the information on the ABA. That's our website, based in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, www.pelicansportstv.com. Glad to be bringing you the ABA Game of the Week on America One Sports. Arkansas is dressed in the white uniforms, blue numbers, red trim. The Utah Snow Bears in the dark blue uniforms, white numbers and lettering and trim for the Snow Bears. Utah came in 23 and one. They're only lost a couple of nights ago right here at Altel Arena to Arkansas. Arkansas 25 and four as we had set to start quarter number three. On the floor for the Rim Rockers, Kareem Reed, Brian Jackson, Todd Day, Brandon Dean, and Jamal Davis. That's the same unit that started the game for Arkansas. And Curtis Millage, Clay Tucker, Harold Arsenault, Nate Driggers, and Cameron Coford on the floor for Utah. Utah in the blue will inbound to begin quarter number three, and we're set to be underway. Be interesting to see what kind of intensity the Rim Rockers bring. And the man defense defensive. for Arkansas to open up quarter number three. Tucker, the leading scorer coming into the game, although not the leading scorer tonight. Coford has it blocked by day, Arkansas ball. Ahead to Kareem Reed, who will go to the basket, lay it up, no good. He's got the offensive rebound, though, to Brandon Dean. Steal by Millage. Fast break numbers for Utah. And Millage kind of lost the handle, had a reset. Millage. Right-handed running layups, no good. Tough shot. Jackson with the rebound, Arkansas the other way. Still a 12-point game. Davis, the spin around, he traveled. That's a turnover against Arkansas. Too many steps for Jamal Davis. We've played almost a minute with no points by either team. That's odd in ABA basketball. Shocking. Man-to-man -man defense for Arkansas. Clay Tucker goes right side to Millage. He'll take it to the hoop. Ball knocked out of bounds. Picked up Arsenal. Shot no good. Rebound Jamal Davis. Here comes Kareem Reed and a rim racker first fast break. And he takes the layup and converts our first points of the third quarter. Makes it a 10-point Utah game. Lots of action and finally a, finally a basket, Tommy. Arsenal underneath, drive, shot no good. Rebound goes to Jackson, here comes Reed. Kareem Reed makes the spin move, lays it up and in, counted his foul. Kareem Reed. Good move to the bucket and drew the foul and got the ball to go through the hoop. Look like 14 millage as you see it here, backing up, backing up, tried to flop on Kareem and then as Kareem went by him and got the layup, he got tripped and that was the call. Kareem Reed. 5'11 from the University of Arkansas. You get a good look at Kareem. The left-handed free throw is no good. We got a foul inside on Harold Arsenault. Second personal, second team foul on the Snow Bears, quarter number three. Reed will inbound on the baseline. Full shot clock. Arkansas with the ball. They trail by eight. You don't want to give this Arkansas team too many opportunities. Jackson Dean for a three-pointer. Count it, Brandon Dean. Crowd loves it, 56-51. I think you can see they've come out a more intense basketball team, Tommy. Arsenault wants a Utah timeout. 10-13 to go, quarter number three. A five-point game. Utah on top with Nathan Christian. My name's Tommy Chrysan. You're watching the ABA Game of the Week on America One Sports. Utah with the ball after the inbound on a timeout. 
six on the shot clock. Driggers inside, gets it in the hoop. Nate Driggers, good work. Nice move by Driggers, getting the defender Todd, in the air. Todd Day for three, counted from the left side. Doesn't take him long to get back down the floor in this league, Tommy. Arsenault will bring it up for the Utah Snow Bears. They have a four point lead. Arsenault working, pulls up from 15 feet. Nothing but the net for Harold Arsenault. Arsenault, nice job of crossing up Jamal Davis. Kareem Reed, 12 foot jumper, nothing but the net for Kareem Reed. He picked up the pick at the top of the key and used it wisely. Clay Tucker will launch a three. Nothing but the net for Clay Tucker. These guys don't even hit the rim when they shoot. The last three shots have been nothing but string music. Todd Day. We see a missed shot. Seven point Utah lead. They push it up the floor. Driggers underneath. Count it. He's fouled by Brandon Dean. Hung in the air and drew the foul. Good work by Nate Driggers. Great move to the basket. Driggers, strong move. He's got great upper body strength. Able to take that hit from Brandon Dean. Driggers listed at 6'6". He's a solid fella, I tell you. Because he'll try to make this a 10-point game if he can hit this free throw. Brandon Dean pleading his case with the official to no avail in for the Rim Rockers number 21, Marco Cole. Jamal Davis will check out Cole. A 6'6 player out of Louisiana Tech in Ruston, Louisiana. And Driggers will shoot this free throw. Just caught Coach Austin telling his players no talking. Free throw is good and it's a 10 point Utah lead. Under nine minutes to go quarter number three. Man to man Utah defense and Kareem Reed brings it up for the Arkansas team dressed in white, Utah in the blue. Whistling a foul on Kofer, the big guy, seven foot one from University of Utah, fourth personal on Kofer. Kareem Reed trying to get to the baseline, couldn't get around number, big number 42. Correction, that's the fifth that's personal fifth on Kofer, and Coach Ike Austin will get him out of there for a little while. So Arkansas will inbound on the baseline, full shot clock. Reed. 12 foot running jumper only goes 10 feet, but he's fouled. Maybe that's why it was a little short. That foul be whistled on Curtis Millage, his second personal. As Reed coming around the screen set by Jackson, gets to the key. Looks like he was expecting contact, put it up short. Fourth team foul on Utah, third quarter. When you get to eight, then it's a two shot bonus free throw situation. No one and one in ABA basketball. So Kareem Reed to the line. First one is good, he'll get another. Left-hander, number 12, Kareem Reed. He's got them both, and we again have an eight-point game. Utah's on top, they have the ball. Full court pressure by the Rim Rockers of Arkansas. Village, man to man defense from Arkansas. 10 on the shot clock. Roxy with the ball. Five on the shot clock. He'll shoot from 16 feet, partially blocked by Jackson. Day gets the ball, and here comes Arkansas. Reed. Right corner now, Brandon Dean for three. Count it, Brandon Dean. Long pass ahead to Driggers and as he's fouled by Jackson. He tried to dunk it, and Jackson fouled him but did uh, prevent the dunk. Good hustle back by Brian Jackson as the whole team got beat down the floor by Driggers, but Jackson committed the foul on the block. Good foul by Brian Jackson. Number 33 out of Oregon State. Didn't look like anybody from the Rim Rockers would make it back. 7.56 to go, quarter number three. Our score, the Utah Snow Bears 66, the Arkansas Rim Rockers 61. We're back. After this pause, you're watching the ABA Game of the Week on America One Sports.
66-61 our score. Utah still shooting 50% from the field and the three-point line. That's a little bit odd, as uh, you don't see that uh, repeat itself too many times. Leading scores, Nate Driggers with 23, Harold Arsenault with 17, Curtis Millage with 14. For Arkansas, Kareem Reed leads the way with 21 points, 12 points for Jamal Davis, and Todd Day now in double figures with 11 points. Utah was leading the rebound part of this thing most of the night, but right now Arkansas has gained a 26-24 advantage in rebounds. You see one of the fans got the red, white, and blue patented ball of the ABA. What Utah does not want to see happen in this basketball game is Todd Day get heated up. You've already seen the Rim Rockers come out with a little bit more intensity than they had in the first half. 7.56 to go, quarter number three, All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. Want to thank Sean Michaels of the WWE for stopping by and joining us at halftime, as well as Reggie, Reggie Swinton people. of the Detroit Lions. You get a look at the coaching staff for the Utah Snow Bears, Byron Boudreaux on the left, Ike Austin on the right. And here's some free throws for Nate Driggers. Byron Boudreaux, another person with Arkansas ties, was an assistant to Stan Heath. Six out of Montevello, Nate Driggers hits the first, he'll get another. <laughs> Second attempt for Driggers. No good, rebound by Davis for Arkansas. It's a six point Utah lead. Triggers missed that free throw, but he's definitely brought his game tonight. Todd Day, man to man defense for Utah in the blue. 10 on the shot clock. Reed drives, leaves it for Davis, and he flushes it home. Jamal Davis assists Kareem Reed. What a quick move by Kareem Reed. Dino Tanner with the ball up top for Utah. 12 on the shot clock for the Snow Bears. Arsenault inside. Takes it to the hoop shot, blocked by Davis, he controls. Here comes Brendan Dean and the Rim Rockers. Dean will launch a three. Count it, Brendan Dean. We got a one-point game that quickly. Brandon Dean heating up in the second half. Man-to-man -man defense for Arkansas, and a traveling violation, that's a turnover. Arkansas has not had the lead since back early in the second quarter. If they get some points on this trip down the floor, they can perhaps take the lead with more than one free throw. Crowd on this trip really into the basketball game at this point. They appreciate the effort of both teams, in particular the hometown guys in this case, Arkansas. Ten on the shot clock. Todd Day trying to get a shot. Spins it around. He's fouled by Tanner. Day draws the foul. Todd Day getting the ball at the top of the key, making his move. Tanner picking up a ticky tack foul on that one. Tanner didn't agree with it, but he'll have to live with it. Couple of free throws for Todd Day, 6'9 out of the University of Arkansas. Eight years in the NBA. He's got the first, he'll get another. Curtis Millage checks in for Utah replacing Antoine Broxy. We're tied at 67, and Todd Day will try to untie it with this free throw. Arkansas has not led since early in quarter number two. Day's second free throw bounces away. Rebound Tucker. We're still tied. Here comes Utah. Tanner on the drive, shot blocked by Day. Brandon Dean the other way to Reed. Leave it for Davis, count it. Jamal Davis, good body control, and Arkansas is on top, 69 to 67. Looked like he got hit on that play. Tucker from 12 feet gets the shooters bounce, and we're tied at 69. Back and forth action here at the Altel. Reed in the paint, scoop way up wow. off the glass, wow. Kareem Reed. That guy makes a move at the top of the key. He gets the basket just so fast, it's ridiculous. Arkansas by two, Utah with the ball. 
Millage to the hoop. He's fouled by Jamal Davis. Curtis Millage is going to get a pair of free throws. 5.50 to go. As you see Millage all the way from up top, taking it to the hole. A little bit of a push by Davis. Get him, coach. Mike Austin encouraging the Snow Bears and his very clear way of doing that. You definitely know what he's got on his mind. The foul, giving him a break and giving him an opportunity to, to get on him. Millage, first free throw is up and good. I needed a break. <laughs> going up and down so fast. ABA basketball, it's exciting. We got a big crowd here at All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. Second free throw by Millage is good, and we are tied at 71. I got a feeling nobody will be leaving the arena early. We're going to have a game go right down to the wire as this game basically did the other night between these two outstanding teams. Reed has it stolen. Clay Tucker going the other way. Lays it up, no good. Driggers can't get it. Whistle to foul on Nate Driggers on the offensive board. Great opportunity on that break. Rim Rockers did a fantastic job of getting back. And over that back foul, Marco Cole. 71-71, Arkansas in the white with the basketball. A rare turnover for Kareem Reed. Man-to-man -man Utah defense, 12 on the shot clock. Brandon Dean, six on the shot clock, Dean for three. Count it, Brandon Dean. Brandon Dean is absolutely on fire. Arkansas up three. Clay Tucker spins it to the baseline, whistling a foul on Dean. Dean Oliver like Miller call. will check back in for Arkansas. It'll be Utah ball on the baseline. A cheap foul, I'll say. Pushed off of the elbow a little bit. Threw the wing out, threw the wing out at him. Triggers will inbound on the baseline. Under the snow bear bucket into Tucker swinging around ball almost out of bounds did hit the out of bounds line it's Arkansas ball turnover against Utah Kareem Reed pushes it up for the rim rockers inside the big Oliver Miller he missed oh. the dunk Oliver Miller missed the dunk well, we got a whistle and a foul on Miller in the backcourt he missed the dunk. Miller couldn't quite get up off the floor. Ramirez checks in for Utah. Sure, Oliver a little embarrassed about that wide open dunk miss. It's going to be Utah basketball in the backcourt. 4.43 to go in the game, and Utah trails by three, but they do have the basketball. Arsenault. To the hoop. Nice move, lay it up, missed it. Miller tapped it, but look at Arsenal hustle the ball. Millage for three. Count it, Curtis Millage. He's shown that when you leave him open, he can knock that down. We're tied at 74. Game's been tied 10 times tonight. Great basketball game between the two best teams in this league. Reed with the ball, man to man Utah defense. 10 on the shot clock. Reed to the hoop, left hand won't go in. Arsenal rebounds. Snow Bears pushing it. They've got three on two numbers. Left corner, Tucker for three. Count it, Clay Tucker. Nice job of Arsenal finding Tucker in the corner, and Tucker, Tucker knocks it down. Todd Day with the ball for Arkansas. Two outstanding basketball teams here. The cream of the crop in the ABA. Mississippi has a good team, but these two teams are excellent basketball teams, both well coached. Three point Utah lead, and they'll have the ball with eight on the shot clock. Correction, Arkansas ball. There's eight on the shot clock. Go, 
We'll take a media timeout. 3.37 to go here in quarter number three. Utah has the lead, 77 to 74, with Nathan Christian. My name's Tommy Chrysan, Pelican Sports TV, bringing you the ABA game of the week on America One Sports. Welcome back to the ABA game of the week. The sumo wrestlers going at it. They're one of the breaking the action promotions here at Altel Arena, Little Rock, Arkansas. They do such a good job entertaining the crowd here. The front office staff of the Arkansas Rim Rockers cooperating with us to the fullest, as well as putting on a great show. Much more than basketball when you come to a game in Little Rock, Arkansas with the Rim Rocker organization owned by Larry Crane. General Manager Otis Birdsong in the front office. Crowd loves this little skit, if you will. <laughs> Nathan, we got 3.37 to go third quarter. Both, both teams have shown some spurts here in quarter number three. The intensity has definitely picked up as these teams are getting up and down the floor. They have, they have it's basketball up and down the floor. Brandon Dean heating up in the third quarter for Arkansas. I believe he's had three three-pointers in the second in the second half in this quarter thus far. Tell you what, the crowd got their money's worth from the sumo wrestling. There was some extracurricular sumo wrestling af afterward just then. Arkansas ball, they've got eight on the shot clock. Keep in mind, eight on the shot clock as they'll inbound, trailing by three. This crowd's getting into this basketball game. You know, they love free Mark, shirts here. Marco Cole will inbound. Cole sends it up top to Reed inside Miller. Layup blocked by Arsenault. He's fouled. Oliver Miller. Foul is on Arsenault. His fifth personal on Arsenault. In the that ABA, you commit six fouls, you can stay in the game. But what happens is the other team gets free throws and possession on your fouls after number six. So you can keep a guy in there, but it's a stiffer penalty if he commits a foul. Miller's a first foul. free throw is no good. He'll get another. As Arsenal has that as well as the... Uh, well, he has five. Center. It'll be after six. Right. Coford also has five. So if they end the game and commit a seventh foul, that's when that rule kicks in. Miller misses them both. Cole picks up the tap loose ball and it's converted for a layup. No 3D rule. They ruled no possession, no turnover. So it's a two point bucket and Utah leads by one. Ramirez who has checked back in. Limited action tonight. Kicks it right side to Driggers. Three pointer on the way. Rebound Reed. Reed will run. Reed out to Cole for three. Cole, nothing but the net for Marco Cole. Arkansas back out on top, 79-77. Every player on that team can hit a three, Tommy. Tucker for three, he answers. Speaking of threes, there's Tucker again. Late Tucker answers and Utah up 80 to 79. Reed shot off the window, no good. Arsenault rebounds. Wild Utah shot running Reed. with Arkansas. A very up and down the court game for you. Ramirez left side stolen by Miller. Here comes Reed. Reed lays it up and in Kareem Reed. He's got 23 points now tonight. Correction 25 points for Kareem Reed on the game tonight. Tucker fall away jumpers good. Clay Tucker answers for Utah. Let's see why he's the leading scorer for this basketball team. And if Kareem Reed didn't play basketball, he ought to be a sprinter. Tucker now with 15 came in averaging 21 a night. We approach the two minute mark in quarter number three. Inside Miller has it blocked by Tucker, but they whistle the foul. <laughs> that might be a technical on Miller. 
Duncan a little bit uh, after the fact there to show nice. that he can still do it. Nice pass by Brandon Dean setting up. He the missed foul. the dunk earlier, and I think he just wanted to prove to folks that, yeah, I can still get there it down. See, I can dunk. <laughs> I can dunk. Well, we'll see if he can make free throws. He has not been very good at the free throw line tonight. And he missed his third in a row. Frustrating night for Oliver. You can tell with the missed dunk. Three straight free throws missed. 2.06 to go. Utah's got a one point lead, but Miller can tie it if he can get this free throw to go in. for four four straight missed free throws Arsenal with the ball quickly the other way triggers under two minutes to go third quarter swing it left side millage to the paint out to trick triggers for three he shot an air ball we've seen a couple of those tonight triggers very effective from that spot in the first half not getting his way in the second Brandon Dean for three triggers picks it up here comes Utah to the hoop, Triggers put it up and in. Nate Triggers, and it's a three point Utah lead. Again, that upper body strength helping him as he gets to the basket. Reed with the ball, man to man Utah defense. And we got a traveling call on Kareem Reed. Like Reed drug the pivot foot, he doesn't like the call. Utah quickly inbounds, Arsenal. Inside, Triggers, no good. Batted around, it comes Brandon Dean. Fast break numbers for the Rim Rockers. Cole for three. No good. Millage rebounds. Arsenal up and down the floor. Arsenal to the hoop, fouled by Miller. Oliver Miller, they'll call that reach foul every time. Especially when you're that big, you're not going to get away with reaching around the box. We might have got part of the ball, but they're going to call that every time. Any level of basketball, they'll blow that whistle. And Brian Jackson will replace Oliver Miller in the lineup for Arkansas. Inbounds, Tucker on the baseline. New shot clock, 104 to go third quarter. Utah by three. Arsenal inside. Batted out of bounds. It'll be Snow Bear basketball on the baseline. 16 on the shot clock. Arsenal cross court. Ramirez. Tucker for three. Count it. Clay Tucker, and it's a six-point Utah lead. Some confusion on the Rim Rockers' part as to who was supposed to be out there on Tucker. Tucker left wide open. He's going to knock it down. Utah led the other night at the end of three by six points, and that's where we're at with 30-plus seconds to go in the third quarter. Tough out shot of bounds, Arkansas Dean. ball. They'll get it with 11 on the shot clock. Two very good basketball teams. About putting on the same kind of show. A great game for fans of both teams. Six on the shot clock, Jackson. Today for three. Count it, Todd Day. Shot clock is off. Here comes Utah. Game clock's all we got. 15 seconds. No shot clock. 10 seconds. Arsenault. Down low to Driggers to go up. Block. Here comes Brandon D with three seconds. Reed will lay it up at the buzzer. No good. That's the end of quarter number three. What a third quarter it is. Our score, Utah 87, Arkansas 84. We're back. ABA game of the week on America One Sports.
Leading scores as we head to the fourth quarter, Kareem Reed with 25 for Arkansas. Jamal Davis, 16, Todd Day, 15. The top three scores for Utah, Nate Driggers with 26, Clay Tucker with 21, Curtis Millage with 19 as they both teams spreading out the scoring. Clay Tucker got a lot of that, a lot of his damage in that third quarter. Also, Todd Day beginning to heat up. Kareem Reed had an opportunity at the end of our last quarter of the third quarter to put in a last second layup. Arkansas outscores Utah 40 to 31 in quarter number three. They were down 12 at the half. Now they're down three. They were down six the other night heading to the fourth quarter, and they won the game by seven. We'll see what tonight's fourth quarter will bring right here on the ABA Game of the Week. Glad to have you tuned in to America One Sports. With Nathan Christian, my name's Tommy Chrysan. Todd, they hit a big three uh, just a, a moments ago, and, and that is who they do not want to see heat up in this fourth quarter. Arkansas will get the ball to start quarter number four on the possession arrow. Arkansas in white, Utah in the dark blue. And here we go with the fourth and final quarter. Arkansas with the ball down three points. Jackson with 12 on the shot clock to Reed. Cole back to Reed. Six on the shot clock. Davis for three. Count it, Jamal Davis, and we're tied at 87. And that's Jamal Davis' spot right at the top of the key, Tommy. He can knock that down. Tough pick set by Crawford at the top. At midcourt, Millage with the basketball. Guarded by Reed. Eight on the shot clock. Utah with the ball. We're tied at 87. Whistle foul on Cole reaching around. Tucker did have position. First foul of the fourth quarter on Utah. And they'll inbound on the baseline. Little mouthing going on between these two teams. And we got a full shot clock will be put up there. Utah from Salt Lake City, Utah, making a trip in here to Little Rock. Roxy to Ramirez. Coford Millage, man-to-man -man Arkansas defense. 12 on the shot clock, whistling another foul on Cole. Same call on the other side of the floor this time. So Utah will invite you see Cole reaching around him. Good call. Ramirez inside. Leaves it for Cooper who stuffs it, but he traveled first. Turnover. Cameron Cooper called for the walk. Coach Ike Austin doesn't think it was a traveling call, and I might agree with Coach Austin on that one. <laughs> Coach Austin trying to explain it. Tie game at 87. Kareem Reed. 12 on the shot clock. Jackson takes it on the baseline. He's fouled by Broxy. Antoine Broxy, you'll see number 33 for the Snow Bears. Going to try to cut off Jackson, but he commits the foul. Broxy, 6'10 out of Oklahoma State. Jackson will get a pair of free throws. Brian Jackson from Oregon State, 6'9. You get a good look at Brian. First free throw is good. He's a very good free throw shooter. He'll get another. And Arkansas is on top, 88-87. Tanner, Dino Tanner back in for the Utah Snow Bears. Jackson will try to Make it a two-point lead for the Arkansas Rim Rockers. And he does. Brian Jackson, two for two on that trip to the strike. Here comes Utah trailing by two. Dino Tanner with the basketball. Tanner played his college ball at Oregon State. These guys, I'm sure they all kind of know each other a little bit. Arsenal on a low block. Eight on the shot clock. Coford has it batted out of bounds. It'll be Utah ball, but they've only got six on the shot clock. Surely we're not going to have two violations by one team in the same game in an ABA game. 
Arsenault launches a three. Count it for Harold Arsenault, and Utah is back on top, 90 to 89, the 12th lead change of the ball game. The show can light it up. Dean to Jackson. Back to Dean. 10 on the shot clock. Jamal Davis to Cole. Whistling a foul away from the ball on Harold Arsenault. That will be his sixth foul. So here's where another ABA rule comes into effect. If Arsenault stays in the game, subsequent fouls will result in two free throws and possession. And so it doesn't start with the, with the sixth foul, it's the seventh foul. After number six, he can remain in the game, but it's a stiffer penalty if he commits any more fouls. 9.58 to go, fourth quarter. Coach Ike Austin gonna lead Arsenault in. Arsenault been very effective on both ends of the floor tonight. Arkansas, full shot clock. They inbound, less than 10 minutes to go in the game. Jackson for three. Rebound, Tucker. And he's fouled by Marco Cole in the backcourt. Third team foul on Arkansas, quarter number four. Bonus kicks in on the eighth team foul per quarter. Marco Cole trying to trap Tucker. Tucker turns and he got him with the body. Reached in, you're gonna, you're gonna get that call. Right there in front of the ref. 90 to 89. Todd here. Day back in for Arkansas. One point lead for Utah and they have the basketball. We'll see if it's Todd Day time in this game, Tommy. He lit it up in the fourth quarter the other night. Coford missed the dunk. Whistle. Coford seven foot one and he's wearing out that rim up there. Call foul is called on Brandon Dean. Fourth personal on Dean. You see Coford using all seven foot one to bang around. Took some frustration out on the rim after missing the first one. Driggers inbounds Tucker for three. Count it. Wow. Clay Tucker. Makes it a four-point Utah lead. Clay Tucker can fill it up, and he's done it all night long. Really heated up here in the second half. Dean with the ball. Arkansas trails by four. Jackson. Spin move. Has it blocked nice by Coford. Block. Ball ahead to Driggers. Driggers uses his body. He's fouled by Kareem Reed. Kareem Reed committed the foul. Get a little intense. A little bit of, you see the foul, pretty hard foul by hard Reed. Foul. Looks like Reed's going Triggers to help him Triggers did up. not like it. He did extend the hand to let him up. And then the jawing began. Great discipline by the officials. Uh, break it up. You got both players on both benches remaining where they're at. They're going to call it an intentional foul now. They're going to call it an intentional foul. And Coach Joe Hard wants an explanation. It, it, it was a hard Todd, foul. Todd Day also getting an explanation. Coach Joe Hard wants an explanation. And he's going to talk to the ref as Tucker will get a pair of free throws. First one by Tucker is up and in. Clay Tucker, a native of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Six foot five, he'll get another free throw. That free throw is also good, and it is a six-point lead. Was, was Driggers be, not the it'll player? It'll be foul? Utah ball. He was shooting the technical foul, the intentional okay. foul. Right. Now Driggers. They put the wrong guy in the free throw line, I think. The wrong guy was on. I think the officials. The wrong have guy was on the line. They put the wrong guy. This is a correctable error according to the rules of basketball. This is a correctable error, and they may want to come over here to the TV table. If we can, let's see here. We're going to get an explanation from the officials. Nate Triggers was the player fouled under the goal. But Clay Tucker you shot the free throws. There's going, that clear. Fouled by Reed. And it was Nate Driggers was fouled by Kareem Reed. I think we got a correctable error here, and I think they're going to change this. 
And that's exactly yeah, what the officials official saying. Said. They put the wrong guy on the free throw line. Driggers was fouled. Clay Tucker went to the free throw line. So they're going to erase the two free throws by Driggers. The score will go back to 93 to 89. Those two free throws will be like as if they never happened. And they'll put Driggers on the line. They tried to get away for, with it. No, no. Well, I will give them credit for getting the call correct. Right. That's the bottom line. Get it correct. That's right. It was a correctable error according to the rules of basketball, and they corrected it. So you tip your hat to the officials Absolutely. right here. Now, Driggers will shoot two. First one is no good. So that is one point that works out in the Arkansas way. And I see why they tried to sneak Tucker up to the line. Tucker uh, hit both. Crowd is really into it. Driggers hits the second one, so it is 94 to 89. 94-89, a five-point Utah lead, and they'll get the basketball on the baseline with a full shot clock, 9.03 to go in the game. On the intentional foul call. Correct. Driggers will inbound to Coford in the paint. Coford puts it on the floor. Whistle, ball out of bounds, traveling call to Coford. This basketball game is getting very, very intense. And this crowd is into it. it. Under nine minutes to go. It's a five-point Utah lead. Arkansas has the ball. Reed on the drive. Shot good off the glass. Kareem Reed. Over the seven-footer, Tommy. Seven-one to be exact. We got a three-point game. Utah win the lead. And here's a steal by Reed, but he's whistled for the foul. Seven footer sounds better than seven. They're water, gonna call though. this foul on Arsenault. They're gonna call this on Harold Arsenault. And that's his seventh foul. That is a strange one. Occurred right in front of us, and I, I for one do not think that was a foul on Harold Arsenault. So this will be an ABA Tommy, rule. Here, here, Tommy, here's the reap. Well, seventh foul. We try to get a look at that. Reed, here. Arsenault. Here it is. That's not a foul on Arsenault, I can promise you. But the ref called it, so that's seven. Good job by the replay crew. Kareem Reed will shoot two, and then they'll get the basketball. This is one of the ABA rules. Reed hits the first one. He'll get another. It'll be Arkansas ball. Utah leads 94-92. Coach Joe Harge of the Rim Rockers. Both coaches wanting some explanation. Here comes Reed. Arkansas with the ball down two. Ball batted in the air. Whistle foul on Reed. Huh? There's been some strange calls here. Yeah, I believe the. Uh, I, uh, there is some strange officiating going on. I believe that's a makeup call, is what they call that. Time. Wow. Because I don't know how he fouled just then. Anyway, we'll go with it. There are the guys with the whistles. Wow. They made a lot of good calls tonight, but there have been sure. a couple of strange ones. Now we got a whistle away from the ball. They're going to call foul Brandon Dean. These refs have lost control of this game, and they're trying to get control back. I think they need to let the guys play. That's what the fans came here for, was to see everybody play. Since the incident under the goal. And here comes the Utah's ball, full shot clock. Driggers will inbound. Coford has it, full shot clock, and Utah will set their offense three by Tucker. No good. Ball will go out of bounds. Arkansas ball with 8-11 to go in the game. Utah leads by two in what has been a rather bizarre last several minutes. Probably not the shot Coach Austin wanted. Arkansas with the ball down two. Todd Day has it. Day, fadeaway jumper from 12 feet, no good. Tucker picks up the loose ball. Here comes Utah. Tucker makes the move to the hoop. He's fouled nice by move. Marco Cole. Nice move by Tucker. Cross Marco Cole. Cole. Up. We're in the bonus situation. 
See, and Cole, that was not good position by Cole. That was a yep. good call by the official. They got we'll that give one them right. credit. They got that Seven one right. minutes and 52 seconds to go. Quarter number four, Utah 94, Arkansas 92. With Nathan Christian, my name's Tommy Chrysan. We're back for more wild action at the Altel Arena. It's the ABA game of the week on America One Sports. A lot of whistles. We've had 48 fouls called in tonight's ball game, 24 on each team. So really, I mean, even though there's been some good calls, there's been some ones that uh, you don't know about, at least it's 24 on each team. So what I think, Nathan, both coaches have to get these guys back focused on playing basketball in this final 7.52. Utah with a two-point lead, 94-92. This score has been tied seven times, and we've had 13 lead changes. Well, nobody can say that it hadn't been called both ways with, with 24 fouls apiece. Whoever maintains their composure coming down this last eight minutes because it's been very intense since the incident under the goal. Fatigue will also be a factor. These Absolutely. guys have been going up and down this floor. Both coaches have substituted liberally, but you only have 10 guys in uniform. So when you get those guys a blow, they need it. And as this intensity continues, uh, that could be a factor down the stretch as well. A lot of fouls since the incident under the goal. They've called every time there's been some contact, they've called a foul. These referees desperately trying to get back in control of the basketball, Tommy, uh, basketball game, Tommy, as you brought up earlier. Clay Tucker, 6'5", native of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, will go to the free throw line for Utah. He's got two shots. Tucker has been perfect at the line tonight, two for two. Make it three for three, and he now has 25 points. Second only to Driggers is 27 for the Snow Bears tonight. So Tucker will try to stay perfect at the free throw line. And he does. Four for four for him at the free throw line. And it is a four point Utah lead. Todd Day with the ball. Day working hard. 12 on the shot clock. Man to man defense by Utah. We got a whistle and a foul on Tucker. That's his fifth personal. No bonus situation yet. Only the fifth team foul, fourth team foul on the Snow Bears in quarter number four. Little hold by Tucker. Jamal Davis. New shot clock. Here's Davis. That's and that's an offense. offensive foul on Jamal Davis. Good call by the official. Utah has the ball in a four-point lead. As we approach seven and a half minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Anytime you extend that arm, Tommy, they're going to call it on you. Inside pass, Tucker, eight foot jumpers, nothing but the net. Utah back out on top by six, 98 92. Brandon Dean with the basketball. 10 on the shot clock. Jackson kicks it to Reed. Three on the shot clock. Jackson will have to put it up from 18 feet. And he hits it, Brian Jackson. Count that one for Jackson. It's a four-point Utah lead. Two-man game between Jackson and Kareem Reed. Tucker to Tanner. Shot partially blocked, but Coford with an offensive board and a bucket for Cameron Coford. And it's a six-point Utah lead. They cracked the century mark, 100 on the board. What a game. Back and forth. Reed inside, left the low lane up and in, assist wow. Davis. Little guy got lost under there. Four point Utah lead again. Tucker drives, leaves it for Driggers, and he walks. Wow. 
turnover on Utah. Arkansas ball quickly up the floor. Dean back to Reed. Reed to Davis who will launch a three. Count it, Jamal Davis. It's a one point basketball game under six minutes to go. Jamal Davis has hit some big shots. And Utah coach hole. Ike Austin wants a timeout. 100 to 99, 554 to go fourth quarter. We're back after this pause. It's the ABA game of the week on America One Sports. Hey, welcome back to All Tell Arena, Little Rock, Arkansas. We've just been told that tonight's attendance, 7,447 people, so just a hair under 7,500 people on hand at the All Tell Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas to watch two of the top teams, if not the two top teams in the ABA, the Mississippi Stingers of Greenville, Mississippi. Also a very good team. There's some other squads, St. Louis, Nashville, Louisville that are pretty good. Uh, the Kentucky team, but cream of the crop tonight, and what an entertaining game and show they're putting on for the fans. 100 to 99. We've got a little under six minutes to go in the game. No doubt, it, no doubt, two of the better teams in the ABA playing tonight. We're both very the well game. coached, and this has been a very good basketball game. We got a timeout, Utah. We'll keep it right here. For more information about the ABA, check out our website, www.pelicansportstv.com. You can go to our website based in Baton Rouge, pelicansportstv.com, navigate around, find the ABA logo that you see there on your screen, and you can click that and get complete information, schedules, stats, stories, and a whole lot more on the ABA. At the, uh, go to our website, pelicansportstv.com. Glad to be producing tonight's ball game for the ABA. Or America One Sports. Nathan Christian, if you're coach Joe Harge of the Arkansas Rim Rockers, what are you telling your team right now? Well, you, you, they're about to put Oliver Miller in the basketball game. You want to get the ball insi inside to him, and that'll create that'll create open jump shots for your shooters as the defense collapses around him. Uh, defensively, you've got to maintain your intensity. They've been more intense in this second half, Tommy, and that's something that we said that was key. They've been more physical, and we've certainly seen that. That's what I'm telling my ball team if I'm Joe Hart. If you're Ike Austin of the Utah Snow Bears, he's in the huddle drawing up some plays. What is he telling his team, Nathan? You know, he's he's been frustrated at times with their ball movement. They've got to move the ball better offensively. Get the ball to the open shooters like Clay Tucker, who has made Arkansas pay every time he's had an open shot. It'll be Utah basketball. They've got 20 on the shot clock. We got a hair under six minutes to go in the game clock, quarter number four. Utah will inbound to Arsenault. Man-to-man -man Arkansas defense. Tucker hits the big, three. Big, big, shot, big shot by, by Clay Tucker. Two-point basket. Two-pointer, foot on the line. We'll give him a two-pointer. Seems like he hasn't missed a shot in the second half. He's just on fire. Jamal Davis on the baseline. Spinning, shot up and in, Jamal Davis. What a game by one, Jamal one Davis. One point game. Arsenault tried to flop move, didn't work. Play Tucker, you got to pick him up at half court. Arsenault thought about the three, puts it on the ground into the paint. Spinning, shot, tapped by Coford, no good. Here comes Kareem Reed for Arkansas. They can take the lead with a bucket. Reed didn't have the numbers, pulled it back. Now he'll take it at the hoop, pull it back again. 
Todd Day with 12 on the shot clock. They reset the offense. Utah by one. Five on the shot clock. Dean with a long three. That's short. And it's a shot clock violation against Arkansas. Coach Joe Harge wanted the foul, but the ball was short. Brandon Dean also you can see there pleading his case. Great defense by Utah that time. Utah with the ball in a one point lead. We predicted this one with Coderty Wire, and it certainly looks like that at this point. Tucker to Kofer. Six on a shot clock. Driggers, 17 foot jumper, no good. Rebound Oliver Miller. Crowd Here comes Arkansas to the big down a point. Reed with 10 on the shot clock. Inside Davis, 15 foot turnaround jumper. Wow. Count it. Jamal Davis and Arkansas is in the lead, 103 to 102. Jamal Davis is having a huge night, Tommy. All over the floor. And this crowd is really getting into it. Millage with the ball to Tucker. 10 on the shot clock. Tucker turnaround jumper blocked by Day, whistle and a foul. Todd Day did not like that call. Tucker on the turnaround Let's jumper. Let's see it. Here's, here's Tucker turning around. That's not a foul. We got a timeout in the action. Coach Joe Harge doesn't like that call. And I, I don't know. Dave, we've seen a lot of good ones. <laughs> we've seen some shaky ones Dave tonight. I might have got him on the wrist. I don't know, Tommy. It was awfully close. Kareem Reed, one of the leaders of the Arkansas team, visiting with the official. You get a look at Todd Day, who did not agree with that call. We want to thank uh, Chris Gibbons, the sports writer for the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, also the beat writer for the Rim Rockers, filling us up with some information, uh, lead story in the uh, advanced story in the paper today, and helping us out courtside here at the All Tell Arena. So much cooperation from everybody around here. And of course, Nathan, I'll take an opportunity to thank you again for your help. No problem, Tommy. Glad to do it. Very excited to be here with you. What a game. Big crowd again, over 7,400 paid to come in here tonight. And the Rim Rocker Rowdies are gonna get everybody fired up. Tommy, it's it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's almost unfair that I get that I get paid for this kind of seat. <laughs> Man, we got we, we definitely have a good seat. We definitely have a good seat. Utah trails 102 to 103. Leading scores for Utah. Clay Tucker with 29. Nate Driggers 27. Harold Arsenault with 20. 19 for Curtis Millage. Five guys in double digits for Arkansas, led by 30 from Kareem Reed. 26 from Jamal Davis. 15 from Todd Day, 12 from Brandon D, 10 from Marco Cole. Rebounds, Arkansas has a 40 to 37 advantage. Arkansas is shooting 53 and a half percent on the night. Utah is shooting 48 percent. Tommy, Jamal Davis has been the corner in this key for the Rim Rockers. He's got 26 in the game. He's four or five from three, and he's hit some baseline jumpers. Dino Tucker, correction, Clay Tucker, who's Four for four from the free throw line. Misses his first one of the night. He's a very good free throw shooter and he couldn't get that one to go down. 3.38 to go in this regulation game. Tucker's second free throw is no good. Rebound Colford, offensive board. Tucker for three. Ball's out of bounds. That'll be Arkansas ball. Miller mistimed his jump on the rebound. Kofer got the rebound. Officials get together, they'll discuss. They're gonna say blue ball. Oh wow. Well, they're actually still talking. You see the officials talking. What they're saying is that Oliver Miller, okay. What they were saying. They're gonna say Arkansas ball. The argument was that Oliver Miller blocked the shot and then nobody touched it. So it'll be Arkansas ball. Tell you what, Ike's not far from getting teed up in this one. Arkansas with the ball, they lead by one, they'll try to add to that lead. 
Miller with the basketball inside to Davis. Turn, shot, no good. Rebound, Arsenal for Utah. Arsenal has it stolen. That's a three-point good. This could be a Todd three. Day, uh -oh. 3D in effect. Whistle to foul on Arsenal in the 3D, and it's his eighth foul. We might have a long list of free throws here. Now, was that no, on they're gonna call it, no, they're going to call it on Millage. That was on Millage. Okay. They're going to call it on Millage, but it'll be three shots because of the 3D rule. So Todd Day will get three free throws for Arkansas, 3:13 on the game clock. I think Quarter number four. Arkansas kind of surprised Arsenault with that trap. Those long arms, Todd Day gets the ball, goes to the basket, gets fouled. They're saying no bonus now. So the 3D rule still has to be in effect. Okay, all right. Still got to be 3D. So 3D is in effect. 3D rule in effect. Arkansas has the ball. Oliver Miller with it. 3D in effect. Davis, jump shot blocked by Arsenal and captured by Great Arsenal. by Arsenal. The 3D is off and Davis commits the foul in the backcourt with 3-0-1 to go in the game. Big opportunity missed by the Rim Rockers on that possession. We got they, free throws going to come up. The Rim Rockers are over the limit on team foul, so Arsenal will get free throws for the Utah Snow Bears. Harold Arsenault, perfect from the line tonight, three for three. He'll get a pair. Six six out of Weaver State. The first one is up and in. Nothing but the net for Arsenault. He'll get another. Kareem Reed in the show, exchanging a laugh. We're tied at 103. Arsenault will try to untie us. And he does. <clears throat> Arkansas ball and Utah now leads 104 to 103. Under three minutes to go in the game. Oliver Miller up top to Kareem Reed. To Miller, he'll launch a three. Miller wow. hits it, Oliver Miller. And this crowd erupts. He hit one in the game on Thursday night, Tommy, that gave him a lead. Two point Arkansas lead. Arsenal has it stolen by Dean. Dean ahead of the pack of laying up and in. It's a four-point Arkansas lead. Very, very similar to Thursday night's game. Utah with the ball there now down by four. Crowd Whistle is standing. And a foul is called on Kareem Reed. That's Reed's third personal, and it's a bonus situation. Two shots for Utah. Here you can see it. Kareem Reed, I guess he didn't get there. He's drawn two charges. Cut the block to, that time. To the free throw line for Utah, Curtis Millage. Looked like Millage beat him to the spot. Millage, four out of six at the line so far tonight. Make it five out of seven. Cuts the Arkansas lead down to three points. 2.21 on the game clock, quarter number four. Second free throw is also good, and we've got a two-point game. Arkansas in the lead, and in the white uniforms, they have the basketball. Reed to Davis. 12 on the shot clock. Davis to the hoop. Shot blocked by Coford. Whistle. We're going to call a foul inside on Arkansas. We're going to call it on Oliver Miller, and we'll have free throws for Utah. Get a look at the shot go up, and I don't know who I, Miller fouled. I think, did they call it on Miller or Davis? They called it on Miller. So it's going to be free throws for Harold Arsenault. He'll get a pair. Some of the calls in the game have been baffling. First free throw. They're going to count that goaltending on a free throw. You can count on one hand the number of times you've seen that in basketball. That is goaltending on a free throw called against Oliver Miller, and it was the correct call. I don't know that I've ever seen that now that I think about it. Arsenal will try to tie it. 
And he does. 108 to 108. How do you goaltend a free throw? Never seen it before. Two minutes to go in the game. Two minutes. And we're tied at 108. Man-to-man -man defense for Utah. 12 on the shot clock. Reed. Today, six on the shot clock. Todd Day. 15-foot jumper is good. Todd Day. Count it. Full court pressure from the Rim Rockers. Arsenal will bring it up for the Snow Bears. Minute and a half to go. Wow. What a game. Tucker with the ball. Tucker in the paint. Shot is up and in. What a drive by Clay Tucker. He's got 31 points tonight. Clay Tucker is tough. Very good basketball player. Wow. We're tied at 110. Reed with the ball. One minute to go in this game. We have got one minute. Ten on the shot clock. Inside day whistle foul away from the ball. Utah's 16 fouls, so there'll be no free throws. Arkansas will inbound on the baseline, and there are only, they'll reset the shot clock. 24 seconds with 57.9 on the game clock. That foul on triggers, I believe. If I'm Arkansas, Arkansas I'm will inbound day. Kareem Reed to Oliver Miller. Got that Miller one had it stolen, and he's trying to steal it back. Big guy on the floor, and it'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow will go to Utah. Utah has the possession. Great hustle by guys diving all over the floor. You can see, the, look at this, three guys on the floor. Fourth guy hits the floor. Great action down there. You even got the big guy on the floor. I'll tell you, these guys, 110 apiece, and they are diving all over the floor. You got to love it. 45 seconds to go. We're tied at 110. Tucker for three. No good. Rebound. Triggers. New shot clock for Utah. Utah's out of timeouts. Arkansas has three left. Crowd on their feet with 12 on the shot clock. Clay Tucker, long three. Counted by Clay Tucker. Shot clock's off. 21 seconds. Here's a tap ball out of bounds and a Utah ball. Triggers almost had a key steal. Timeout, Arkansas. 19.1 seconds to go. Utah by three. We're back after this pause. You're watching the ABA game in a week on America One Sports. Arkansas coach Joe Harge calls the timeout. They're down three. Clay Tucker hit a long three. 19.1 seconds to go. Shot clock's off. Nathan Christian, what's Joe Harge telling the Rim Rocker team here? Well, it's not desperation time, and you don't have to get a three. You, want, you know, you got 19 seconds left in the game. You want to take what the defense gives you, but. Arkansas has two timeouts remaining. Utah, none. Utah I, does have one foul to give that would not result in free throws. I Keep would, that in mind. I would try to set up a play for Todd Day. The possession arrow favors Arkansas, should that become needed. 19.1. Brandon Dean will inbound for Arkansas on the near sideline. Here we go. Clock's rolling. Shot clock's off. Brandon Kareem Reed with the ball. He's trapped. He gets it to Brandon Dean. Ten seconds. Davis launches a three. Long rebound. Hits the floor. Todd Day with a long three. Oh, wow. No good. Ball on the floor. Tanner has it. And there's a whistle with .8 seconds to go. And Utah, Utah, after getting beat a couple of nights ago, 
is going to get out of all tell arena with revenge. Utah's going to win this ball game. Great basketball game we've seen here tonight at all tell as the crowd begins to exit. They head for the seats, but they cannot say that they get their money's worth. What a basketball game by two well coached teams. Utah going to the free throw line will be Dino Tanner. He's going to get two free throws. And should he miss them both, Arkansas basically need a miracle. He would be wise to miss the second free throw if he makes the first. Although a half court shot is worth four points in ABA basketball. That's right. So if he misses this and they throw it the length of the court and it goes in, we'll have overtime. And a lot of these folks will have to come back in. If he makes it, it's all over. He missed it, and the ball's tapped, and that's going to be the end of the game. Todd Day heaved it, but it's no good. 114 to 110, our final score. Utah picks up the win, moves out to 24 and 1 on the season. Arkansas loses for the first time in two months. They are now 25 and 5. Nathan Christian, what a basketball game. I wouldn't be too surprised to see these two teams playing come playoff time, Tommy. Want to thank the guys in the truck, the guys on the camera from Pelican Sports TV and Pelican Sports. Want to thank you, Nathan Christian, for your help. My my name is Tommy Christ, and this has been the ABA Game of the Week on America One Sports.